Hopefully you'll be able to watch today. I know I did it Friday. I, I thought about delaying, but I really wanted to play it Friday, so... Um, but yeah, that's what I have for, uh, that's what I have for my, all, I have that, that goal. Uh, probably I'll have people help me pick what game I do if I get, or like, what game or games I do if I get an all-day stream. Uh, and if we reach the 35, then I might do a 50, um, 50 sub point, and it's sub points, not sub. So, like, if... You sub tier two, that's two sub points. If you gift sub, multiple gift subs, those are all like it, it, it's all sub points. Um, so I just need I don't need I don't need 50 people, I need 50 points. And I did and once I hit that, once I hit it once, um, we're good to go. We don't need to, I just need to hit it once so I can unlock the sub, uh, sub, uh. Or the, the emote slot. And once I do, Cool Ghost for sure is going to be slot 4. Slot 5 I might make Sleep Ghost, but I'm not positive. At that point, my tier 2 and tier 3 subs, I'll probably make something different. And then I may still make the, um, the bit reward ones for like 50 or for, for 10 bits. Or for $10 in bits and $50 in bits. And maybe I should make one for a hundred dollars in bits. I don't think anyone's reached that though, and I, I don't want people to be like dumping a hundred dollars just to unlock emotes. But I feel like I should make the those permanently. Un I don't know. I could make those different too. I'll play around with it. Anyway, uh, Pterodactyl Land. People hate this stage. I don't think it's too bad, but I will say, I don't even know where to start on this one. Mostly because I just, it's, like I said, it's been a while. The, the early stages, at least, I, I have a vague idea of where to go, but... Okay, so this one... I can't remember how you're supposed to get this one. I don't think I can get it like this. But I'm pretty sure if I come back with Banjo, and that's not the intended way, but I'm pretty sure I can get that with Banjo via the, um... Pack Jump glitch. And music's not too loud, right? I know Summer said it was fine, but I just want to double check. Let's get this. Can I not? I think it's supposed to fly over here, actually, but whatever. There should be a warp pad up here. Yeah, this control stick is definitely a little... Um, like, I'm not moving as fast. But it's fine because... It's fine because... Okay, I don't want to do Mumbo just yet, though. Uh, it's fine because the Z button at least works, which was a bigger issue. <laughs> it was not working at the end of last stream. The one thing, nice thing about Banjo Tui, like, and I'm playing this again, I'm realizing especially, the notes are not even a thing. Like, they're so, because because they don't put them as like, I think notes are the biggest annoyance in Banjo uh, Kazooie. And in 2 they're not. They're like such a such a minute thing because they come in bunches. Okay, now we finally have springy step shoes. I could leave and go finish up Glitter Gulch Mine. But I don't know if I really care that much to do that just yet. Plus, I think I earned Taxi Pack here, and I'd rather be able to go back and do Witchy Roll at the same time, if possible. Where does this cave go? Yeah, I've been in a good mood lately, honestly, which is a good thing. As you know, probably know it's by me streaming more, or at least attempting to have a more, uh, a larger stream schedule instead of once or twice a week. But hopefully I don't burn myself all out on that, because I've done that before, too. Okay. Yeah, 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 I want you to come here. Oh, I need the- oh, I need the train switch, right. It's not- where is it? It's in, like, 
It's not here. It's somewhere in the level, I'm pretty sure. Mo like, most of them are in the train area, but I think this one is... I want to say it's, like, in the basin or something. No, 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 I know where it is. I think you need the T-Rex for it or something, right? It's in that area. Okay, well, we'll worry, worry about that later. So we can't do anything with this just yet, but that's not a big deal. I know I want to do what's her face first because Mumbo makes the T-Rex bigger and I ideally want to do the baby T-Rex first. Yeah, I could I could see why you like you could definitely make this your skippable world, but uh, I kind of want to try and do all of them. I know I said I was, wasn't going to potentially do 100%, but, like, also, it's me. When it comes to certain games, I enjoy getting 100%. Uh, other games, not so much. Like, for example, I mean, I enjoyed Origami King and collecting everything, right? But, like, getting all the trophies and stuff, I could care le or I could not care less about that. Um, I had no real desire to try and get more of those. So... Uh, for me, just getting all the collectibles, for the most part, was good enough. Uh, same thing, but with with uh, most collectathons, I enjoy... Getting 100% is, is enjoyable. Is there anything over here? I can't remember if there is. No. There is stuff in the water, though, I think I saw. Or I thought I saw. Maybe not. I thought for sure I saw a note in here. Maybe it's a fish. And I don't see it, so. Um, what's over this way? Okay, so this is where you can see my control stick. Uh, it's not working that well. Would you just fuck off? <laughs> I have another controller, but it's a controller that... Um, it's a controller that unfortunately has a uh, D-pad that... Or a control stick that's more like modern day control sticks. And I feel like for N64 games... You really want to use a control stick that's, like, built how the, uh, the traditional N64 control sticks. Okay, no problem, Summer. Okay, there's one of those guys. I like how he drops honeycombs that you can't get. So we'll go down here first. I know there's stuff in that basin, but I need a split up pad first. Which I think actually, I think I could have got to. This is the big thing about Banjo Tooie is it's all about like optimization and management of what to do first, more than Kazooie. And I kind of like it because of that. That's like one of the reasons I really enjoy it. Okay, what do I need the baby T-Rex for? I need him for that one Jiggy for sure. Is there any other ones I need him for? Okay, that's the T-Rex switch. Alright, that is... Is that the train switch? I think it is. Okay, so now I can get the one sick Tyrannosaurus. I can get, I'm trying, it's okay, I'm trying to think, one of the Tyrannosauruses is, I think you can get all the Tyrannosauruses right now, besides the sick one, I think I can do them all, right? Because the one you have to transport to which you, or to the cliff's top, uh, and then the other one, one of the ones you had to make grow bigger, and then one of them you have to, uh, is just lost in Witchy World. Oh, 
Just random notes there. <laughs> What does that lead me to? A door. I guess I'm gonna take a look. Oh, it's a T it's a baby T-Rex one. I thought that's what it was, but I wasn't even positive. Okay, let's go. I'm just trying to think if I need anything before I go and do the baby T-Rex. How am I not getting eaten here? <laughs> I don't know how I was not getting eaten there. <laughs> I know a bunch of stuff you have to climb the mountain. That's the one thing with Witchy World. You really can't start on it until you climb the mountain for a lot of stuff. And I know when I was young, I would put off climbing the mountain. I think I'm good to do the Baby T-Rex stuff, though. Now, my question is, do I need the springy shoes just yet? What do these do again? Thank you! Well, that's not the 50-bit one, so... <laughs> Banjo 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 Tooie is a platformer video game developed by pl or platform video game developed by Rare and originally released for the N64 console in 2000. It's the second game in the Banjo Kazooie series and the Banjo Kazooie series and the sequel to Banjo Kazooie. Okay, that leads me to the Globo. What was in that? I know I want to do Humba, but I want to know if... What's in here? I want to see what's in here first. Okay, this is the Ungabunga Cave. Sorry, not coming in wearing silly shoes. I mean, you can't come in regardless, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I can wait. Hang on. No, I want to go the other way. Okay, hang on. Because there is a war pad at the top, so I have no problem with doing the top first. Yeah, and we, as I mentioned earlier, we now have an actual goal to reach to try and get 35 sub points. And I have a new sub alert as well. I gotta play with some more as, uh, later on. Okay, come on. I think this is the way you have to get up here, honestly. When do you get, oh, you don't get the flay pad until you climb the mountain, that's right. I want to get Spearfarer, I know it's out today, um, I don't know. I kind of want to wait and see what people think of it before I, I plunge in. Okay, got to the warp pad at least. Where does this one go to? Damn it. Leave me be. Well, whatever. I got the I got the pad. <laughs> I should just take him out with eggs. That's what I should do. Okay. It's actually probably the best to do Terry first, honestly. Like, before I do Humba, I really should take out Terry first, because a lot of stuff in Terry Dactyl Land, I feel, is locked behind doing Terry first. Not entirely, but... Okay, and then... You... Die. <laughs> I don't think this is not Terry's nest. What is this? Oh. Terry Dental Land is also the land that I think is the is the biggest tease for the longest time. Could you see it in the first world? 
the bonfire cave. Where does this lead? Does this lead to what's his face? The stomping grounds? Okay, well, first off. <laughs> the stopping grounds, I think there's a warp pad here, too. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, there is a split up pad. I can't actually do much with this just yet because. Well, I think I can do all but banjo. I think I can do all of them but Banjo, actually. Because there's three of them you get here, I'm pretty sure. Or three things you get. I don't remember if they're all Jiggies, but... You have to do it three times. With Banjo, you have to um, use the snooze pack. Also, I like how it gives you the boss music, but it's not really a boss. I don't even need. You don't use this much in this game, but this is a good use of it. Okay, this one leads me to. Kazooie gives me a Jinjo. Banjo leads me to. Does that lead me to. It leads me to another area, it looks like. Okay, this gives me the Jiggy. That might actually lead me to, um... Freeze Easy Peak. It's not Freeze Easy Peak. Uh, Hellfire Peaks. Okay, Kazooie, I should be able to do because she's fast. Here, or honeycomb. Oh wow, he did a lot of damage though. Where do I want to go? I think I want to go to this other one here. Maybe I need to use the wing whack to get a little bit more speed. I'm pretty sure you can do it as Kazooie right now. Or again, I could have my controller, it could be an issue with it, uh... Desyncing a little bit. Is this the only place that has the split up pads? There's gotta be other places with split up type at pads. Why is it not letting me split up? Isn't it B? Or is it Z? It A? It's A. I knew that, but why, why isn't A? Okay. No, but see, that's why I was afraid to do the wing whack. Yeah, because of the delay there. That's why I was afraid to do the wing whack. I mean, I could also just use more honeycombs, but I'm pretty sure you can do this as Kazooie right now. Let's go this way this time. Choose the right path and I think you're fine. Um, I think I can actually do, because you, you get the snooze pack. You get the snooze pack and you get the taxi pack. I think you get the snooze pack here and you get the taxi pack in a different area. Okay, I want to go... 
would be the best place to go? I can't go outside Wumba's wigwam. I guess top of the mountain. Because I want to go and grab his move. Taxi is here snoozing and grunties. Okay, so you can't do... You technically can't do that until you get the snooze pack. Which I don't even know... Rem refresh me on this. Can you get the snooze pack... Or can you get... Where even am I? Um, can you get... Give me a second. Um... To get to Grunty Industries, don't you need the Claw Clamber boots, or am I wrong on that? Do you just need the Spring boots? Because I feel like Grunty Industries is intended to be the next level, but... I'm pretty sure you, like, the, my, I had said earlier I went to Hellfire Peaks first, and I'm pretty sure it's because the Claw Clamber boots you get in Hell, Hellfire Peaks. And if that's the case, you just need spring boots. Claw Clamber are in Grunties? I, I thought they were in Hellfire Peak. Maybe just because I remember using them in Hellfire Peak because of the uh, Yeti. Oh, I should grab these notes. Can't see though, it's so dark in here. Okay, so here is one of the biggest skips in my opinion. So, because of the pack jump... Ow. Because of the pack jump... Don't need to worry about doing the stupid climbing here. <laughs> you just skip right up here. <laughs> so much easier. Yeah, there's no... Spo you can't spoil me because I've played this game before, so yeah. No, there's no, no hey chat in this, this one. So we got a taxi pack. We need the egg hatching one, which I think you learn in the cave that you use it, so. Oh, is there a split up pad right in here? I think there is. It's fine, because they don't actually need to split up here. Is there any... Okay, my question is. It's exciting in the Oogle uh, Boogles cave. What I should is it my my question is what else should I do here? I mean I guess that spot is not horrible to, to climb, but I think because of the the way it being so dark, I always couldn't see like when I was younger, I couldn't see what the things that attack you. So for me it was easier to just not worry about it. That I need Kazooie for. Um, I don't think I want to go that way just yet. Well, I will go that way to exit because there's a that honeycomb at the bottom that I saw at the beginning. I can't remember how you're supposed to get it, but I can definitely just get it as Banjo with the pack jump. And I might honestly just do that while I'm Banjo. Yeah, this is the first level I feel where you separate with with the Kazooie and Banjo a lot more. You don't really do it much in like you learn it in Witchy World, but you don't really do much as far as being separate in that world. Okay, is there any other ones? Any more notes? At least one more note. One more pack of notes, at least. Come on. Okay, what are we even at for notes? 85. Like I said, notes are not a big deal in this game.
But yeah, anything spoiler-wise, like, I know the game, it's just remembering. And I'm not gonna be like, oh, you spoiled my memory, like, you know, screw my memory. <laughs> it's bad sometimes. It, it's good most of the time, but it can be bad. Okay, I guess we'll go this way now. I don't see any more notes, I think it was just those ones. I do want to do Terry coming up next, because he unlocks the flight pads. And that will be very handy. I don't... I guess I can try and get this. I don't think I can with Banjo. Yeah, I... Like... Oh, maybe. Hang on. Now. I thought maybe I could, like, cheese it, but... <laughs> Kazooie will definitely be able to get that, though. That's a Kazooie Torpedo switch. The Jinja, which I think that might be the Jinja that you, that you hit the switch with. Uh, what's down here? Is there anything? I hear you. I can't get you yet. Okay, I'm trying to remember, is there anything else I can do as Solo Banjo right now? Well, I mean, I guess I could go and do... The train is open, right? So I guess I could do the T-Rex the shit right now. We're not T-Rex, the uh, Stegosaurus shit. Just need to find where their cave is. Which, that is a good question. Where the hell is their cave? <laughs> not here. I didn't go in here, but this isn't... I think this is just the center of the basin. Where they can't really do much, right? Oh no, this is even... This might actually lead me? Where does this lead me? Where does this lead? This is a good question. Oh, this leads me up to... Okay, this isn't... There's something up there, too, I think, which I could try and get by using the butt pack jump, but whatever. I'll, I have to go back later anyway with, uh, like, I can defeat him with the Clockwork Kazooie eggs. Okay, where is this house? It's here, right? It's here. No, wait, this is the train station. No, I'm wrong. That's the train station, but it is in this area, I'm pretty sure, actually. Yeah, this, this playthrough is basically... Am I remembering this correctly? <laughs> Man, though, like, I, I don't know what it is entirely, but this game is so much better than, than Banjo-Kazooie. It really is. I don't even know why it is, honestly, because it really shouldn't be that much better. But, like, I'm enjoying this so much more than when I played Banjo-Kazooie. It's not that Banjo-Kazooie is bad. It just, it's not my... I guess it's just not my type of game. Oh god, I don't want to go there. That's the Stegosaurus. Okay. I, okay, right, because I gotta... Okay. I'm pretty sure I have to go this way because I don't think I can... I don't... Again, slanted surfaces, I don't think uh, Banjo can make that... I do not like the enemies in this. Okay. I like how Banjo can still grab cliffs in this when he's like separated, but Kazooie does not have any of her moves, which is kind of lame. Uh, Mr. B, we're still good visual-wise, right, and everything. See, that's the thing. I get why people don't like Tui, but I feel like those people don't actually like collectathons. Or more so, again, I think with Kazooie, it's definitely a game that's more a. Um, it is a collectathon, but it's definitely more a. Uh, um, has has the ele a Metroidvania element to it, I would argue. 
Why are you so sad? My family isn't keeping too well. Okay, so the eldest is sick. Which doctor? I don't care, any doctor. Also, they should have said witch doctor. Oh, okay. Like <laughs> he is a witch doctor. <laughs> okay, him I'll do when I do the. Yeah, because I need shot. I need mumbo for both, but I need mumbo, two different mumbos. Which is this is my favorite part. Ironically, everyone hates this part. I like the fact that. You have to be like, okay, we need Mumbo, but we need another Mumbo. Because each Mumbo in different Mumbo has a different skill in every area. Now how do I get up to that? I saw it. where was the I saw a honeycomb. Where was it? Oh right there. I think I need to break this and I I think I need Kazooie to use uh there's probably a spring pad there. Okay, regardless believe how do I do taxi I was not listening when he taught me how to do taxi pack okay so once I do this I'll head back to Kazooie and I think before I do any of Kazulu Kazulu's Kazooie's solo stuff, uh, I'll probably want to do, um, carry next. And then beyond that, I can, I don't think there's any other, is there any other Banjo stuff, Mr. B, that I need to do? I think the only other thing is I could try to cheese the, uh, the what's it called. But I don't think I can, even with the pack jump. I think I need to be able to heal. To do the uh, stopping grounds. Yes. Okay, so this should bring me the witchy rolled dinosaur. Isn't cheesable. I, I, I kind of thought it wasn't, but whatever. It's, it's not a big deal. So you, don't, you do need to come back for that, unfortunately. Luckily, it does have a teleport pad, so... Oh, and there is a... I totally missed. There is a, a rock nut guy here, too. So I have to remember to come back here with, with Kazooie. Kazooie can't shoot eggs by herself, can she? I think she can. She should be able to. There's no reason why. Okay, so there's that dinosaur. Thanks for returning my lost child. She'll be cleaning out our cave for the next month as punishment. Good to know. Okay, so... We want you... To dump you here. People always bitch about the train, but there's really only like, how often do you actually use the train? You use it to get into Whip to Grunty's Industries. Oh, I do, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I thought maybe I could do it all in one go, but that that's fine. I had to come back here anyway with Banjo-Kazooie, so. Um. People always bitch about the train, but you'd only use it really for this one moment, honestly. I'm trying to think when else you'd use it. Use it again to witch or into Grunty Industries, but that's about it. You only do one big travel thing with it. Maybe maybe there's one other one I'm forgetting, but oh, I don't need this. Okay, so let's go back to Kazooie. Oh, my God. 
Stopping planes. Oh, she's on the other end. Did I? Okay, yeah, I did get it. Okay. Top of the mountain and take care of Terry real quick here. Not that I really want to because this battle's fine, I guess. It's not the worst battle in the game. Is there anything this way? No. Okay. Trying to make sure there's nothing. I'm... This might lead. I might. This, I think this leads to like the reward you get for beating Terry. Oh no, it's a it's a shortcut. Right, but I can't really do anything here just yet. Not anything important. Okay, that's where the reward is, right? Okay. Um, but I had to beat Terry because, like, not only do you get the flight pads, but, like, the egg quest, which is probably the most, like, annoying quest in this world. Uh, you can't do it until you fight Terry. Because even though the eggs exist, but you have to activate the eggs for some reason. Give me back my eggs, you filthy light-fingered bear. Uh, what eggs are those? Don't play the fool with me. I want my eggs back or else. Or else what? You're due to become extinct soon. Anyway. Maybe so, but not before you two. <laughs> is Terry Terry's female, right? Or is Terry male? I guess it doesn't really matter. Do I need grenade eggs? Regardless, we're gonna do grenade eggs. all my snotty buddies go. Right, because she predicts your aiming. Where are you? I like there's a countdown for her health. I don't know if the other- I guess the other ones must have actual health meters as well. Terry is actually not hard at all. I thought this was a lot harder. It's pretty straightforward, actually. Okay, so the grenade eggs I don't think you need, but they do more damage to her, because she had two hits left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not the voice she had earlier. I tried my best, but I'll never get my eggs back from you now. 
We haven't got your eggs. Why is he now like Scottish? <laughs> we haven't got your eggs, Daddy. It's alright, I enjoyed it. Perhaps we could keep a lookout for your eggs. Would you? That's really nice of you. Yeah, I don't think the backtracking in Banjo-Tooie, right? I missed that earlier. I don't think the backtracking is bad, honestly. Everyone over-exaggerates. It's really, I, I, if anything, I think there should be more connections and backtracking between the stages, personally. Okay, so now we have the, the flight pads, which is nice. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think Jolly Rogers is way more annoying than this so far. And even that I didn't mind. Okay, so grab this jiggy. Was there a jiggy in here too? What was in here? Yeah, why was there a jiggy in here? And you get I think you get another one for completing the egg quest. It's just it's really weird random that they're just like here's a random jiggy in the mountain for you, I guess. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, but here's the thing, I don't I do not like underwater controls at all. The fact that you don't have to breathe is nice, but Okay. What do we have? There's a lot left to do. Okay, uh, we got all of the Globos. Um... I'm trying to think what the next thing I want to do is... I guess we should take care of the train station stuff first, just to get out of the way. And then probably Humba, so I can do the baby T-Rex stuff before making her uh, hot bigger and doing all the mumbo stuff. No, you're too low. It is Globo, right? I mean, I know there are Globos are in there, but that's what they're called, right, in this game? <laughs> also, isn't Globo... What's what's Croc? Croc Legend of the... Is it Croc Legend of the Globos as well or something? It's not Globo, it's something else. Okay, god damn it. Get in there! <laughs> We want to go to Isla Hags. Finally, get rid of this glow ball I've been hanging on to forever. There's a lot we have to do before we have we can be We need to split up with Banjo. I can just visit visit Mumbo as Banjo, right? Where are the split up pads? Are they in here? Oh, I guess you don't. What am I talking about? You don't need to split up as Banjo because you can just. I'm dumb. 
I thought you had to bring the dinosaur to him, but I don't. I just go and bring me to the dino- or I bring Mumbo to the dinosaur. Yeah, we don't need to split up. I mean, once I get back there, I do, but... Yo, I'm up. Sure. Yeah, I feel like Pterodactyl Land is going pretty smooth so far. It's basically, once you know what to do in what order... Like, I will admit, on the first playthrough, it, it, it probably is a lot worse. But, like, you know you want to do Terry near the beginning. You know you want to, like... You want to do the Humba stuff first. Because the Baby T-Rex, you want to do it before you make her tent big. So you can do the Mumbo stuff in one go. Yeah, heal is only used for this T-Rex, I'm pretty sure. Ironically, there is a, a power later that's like life to bring back from the dead. So, like, yeah, you like you could think, oh, maybe bring this dead thing to heal, but no, it's you only need it's a, there's a specific power for dead things. This is for the living. Okay, so T Rex is now not sick. T I keep saying T Rex. Now, <laughs> all dinosaurs are not T Rexes. The Stegosaurus. <laughs> Every dinosaur is a T Rex. Just not true. Okay, so it's the only point for this mumbo is just that one. Not even like one jiggy, it's one part of a jiggy. Unless I'm forgetting something you need him for, but I'm pretty sure you don't. I think it's just for that Stegosaurus. Okay. Oh my god, these stupid pterodactyls. Back to Pterodactyl Land. I think, honestly, I might want to wait on the backtracking to uh, Witchy World until I get the Claw Clamor boots. So I can do all the, um... Because once I get the... So I need the Claw Clamor and Snooze Pack, which we said were both in, in, um... Drugs and Industries. So is there anything else I need for backtracking the Pterodactyl Land? I think that's it. I mean, we'll, know, we'll find out really quickly. Maybe gliding. I might need gliding. Gliding is such a dumb one. Okay, so that one is now all good. Okay, you don't, yeah, you don't even need to take her back. I'm, I'm thankful of that. I thought I had to, like... But no, she's now well enough to move on her own, so... I definitely want to go back to the Stegosaurus cave because I need to make sure to break the boulder so Mumbo can actually, because I did that as a kid too, where I went to the cave without breaking the boulder I needed to break, and then uh, you had to like, <laughs> you wasted the time as Mumbo, you had to go back and switch again because you need to, and I'm like with... Banjo-Kazooie, like, at least when they split up, they, there's spots where you can switch with them really easily. You don't have that with Mumbo. You have to return him to the chair and switch out, and it's... That's kind of obnoxious, honestly. That's why it's ideal to just do it in one go. Um, okay. Hang on. I want... Before I go to the Stegosaurus cave... 
Well, let's go ahead and take care of this rock knot guy. Yeah, glide you don't get for a, like you don't get till Hailfire Hail Peaks. Second to last world in the game. Can I jump to this? Oh, there's a switch there. Did I hit that switch? So first off, not with those. Where does that switch lead me to? Oh, okay, I wanna, okay, so I need either flying or... Oh, he, okay, it's not time. Cool. I was worried I was going to be time. So I just have to remember to go back there for that one. I don't think she can. Kazooie kind of sucks solo in terms of, at least early on. She has, like, almost none of her moves. No, 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 that's too low. I'm pretty sure I can make this jump. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> That's why I hate first person mode sometimes. Like that? Really? Reach a little bit above it? I'm pretty sure you can make it, but maybe not. Oh, it's too low. I mean, I could try shooting it from up above, but I just didn't think I had the distance. Unless I make that jump to the middle there. I can also just use the flight pad over here. It might actually be better to do that. I just want to take care of that one now, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm also almost out of eggs. I know there's one in... There's maybe actually multiple in that hole section there. I know, I want I used too early on that. Hang give me a second. Jump up here. Jump up here. I mean, I should also go for that Jinjo, but I'd rather just get this guy out of the way. Damn it! <laughs> I just want to beat that man! <laughs> I mean, I could shoot it over his head. I was worried about landing on the pillar itself, or on the place itself, because... Uh, if you're not careful, you'll hit him by accident. I only have so many eggs left of those types. But I mean, I can always get more. why I don't like this one. <laughs> oh, I just noticed the grip grab there. Okay, I want to do that. I just need... Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> I was worried that that would have crashed into the wall, but... Oh, well, it worked. Okay, let's do this real quick here. What does this get me? Oh, it gets me eggs. I actually do want these. Let's see. Uh, 
Unfortunately, Clockwork Ace, they only give you one. But I mean, I get why. Dude, Metamorio with the raid! Farm AF. Uh, you were playing Story of Seasons, right? How? Thank you so much for the raid. How was it going? Or how, how was it? Did you enjoy it? I thought about getting uh, about getting that game. I I might still get. It, I don't know. Right now, I'm currently in Pterodactyl Land uh, in Banjo Tooie. It's been going pretty well, actually, so far. But yeah, I, I hope you got, I hope you enjoyed. You're still broken the game. I'm glad it's very cute, though. I, I always... My favorite Harvest Moon game is... I mean, I haven't played them many. Uh, when I was a kid, one of my first N64 games was Harvest Moon 64. I love, love Harvest Moon 64. Uh, and then I bought Wonderful Life for GameCube, and I was very disappointed. I, I didn't like Wonderful Life that much, honestly. Um, but... Oh, thank you, uh... Oh my god, I'm not gonna... <laughs> yeah. Ya boy, Blake Worthington. Thank you for the follow. Um, no, it's, uh, I think, uh, cause it, the Story of Seasons, uh, is, is based on the Friends of Mineral Town, right? And that one, I think, is more like Harvest Moon 64, so I think I would enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah, Banjo 2 is so great. I love it so much. Are you gonna, you're gonna play more of, uh, Story of Seasons, I assume, then? I don't know, like, like I, I don't wanna say, like, a full playthrough, cause... I guess technically, at least when it comes to like 64 or Harvest Moon in general, like technically you could play it forever, honestly. It's no different than Animal Crossing in a way. Alright, what am I- I wanna go this way. I'm going the wrong way. Just Blake or y uh, your boy? Okay, no problem. Hey, Naron! And also, so let me go ahead, uh, Mr. Wario, Odin, Madam, Pixel Plume, uh, Blake, Sky Spirit, and Shaliam the Worm. Thank you all for uh, the raid. Um, I, I might actually take a break here and just like a two minute break in, in a little bit, but I'll be playing this for for quite a while. So if you want to stick around and watch uh, some Banjo Tooie, this is a replay through. I have played this game before, but it has been like ten years, so I am fuzzy on a few things. Um, okay, I don't remember which hole I want to go in. I guess we'll just pick a hole and get started here. Go, my brethren! <laughs> Find the guy and defeat him. Uh, what is it, this one? Oh, this is not- this is the completely wrong hole. There's not another hole- okay, what's this one lead to? See, I- I think it's easier. <laughs> it doesn't have the, the note garbage that the original Kazooie on the N64 had, but it does have, um, it is a little bit more confusing, especially on the first playthrough, because though some of the worlds are connected and there's backtracking and stuff, I can see where it'd be confusing in that respect. But as far as like being skilled, I think it's easier because deaths don't really matter as much in this game. Like, in the, in the other game, if you die in, in the original Banjo-Kazooie, you're screwed because you lose all your notes and stuff. That doesn't happen here. Once you collect something, you've collected it for good, which is, is very nice. Okay, I need to get the Jinjo. Yeah, it's it, this game will... I played this... I, ten years ago would have been college for me, but, I mean, this game... Um... I mean, I played it when it came out. I didn't buy it initially. I, I used to rent it. I, I That was back when Blockbuster was a big thing. So I would rent games a lot. And this is one of the games I rented. Yeah, I really like the level design. Um, I don't think black backtracking is as bad as... Like, I think maybe on a first playthrough. But what I'm enjoying replaying it is if you know certain things, you can optimize. So, like, for example... After this, I'm gonna do the transformation stuff, but but the uh, T-Rex the in this one can either be big or small. So I wanna do it small first, so that when I do Mumbo, I can do Mumbo all in one go. And like, learning what you can optimize is very, uh, I, I enjoy that a lot, it's very fun. Yeah, this is the level everyone doesn't like, 
and, and it's probably the one that's the best example for people. If you, if you enjoy this level, then you'll know if you like Banjo Tooie. Because for me, I don't mind. Like, it's not the best level, but I don't mind it. I actually like it more than um, Jolly Roger, I thought was way worse, personally. <laughs> Yeah, if you attack this game like you attack Banjo Kazooie, you're gonna have a bad time. But if you play this game, not. I, I, I've said recently, I feel like it's a little Metroidvania like. It's not a Metroidvania. I don't want you to think I think it's a Metroidvania. It's not. But it does have elements of it a little bit. And if you play it more like how you would play a Metroidvania, I think you will you'll enjoy it a bit more. Witchy World is, I think, probably the most Banjo Kazooie like level. So if you liked Banjo Kazooie, then it's not surprising most people will like uh, Witchy World. But also, it's very fun in its theming. Same with Cloud Cuckoo Land; it's very fun with what it has theme-wise. Okay. Um. Do I think I want to do? I don't want to do Kazooie Solo Adventure just yet. I don't think. I'm not quite ready for that. I think I want to go and do the Hampa stuff. He, for me, and this game, keep in mind, came out after D6, DK, DK, DK64. Uh, it's nowhere near as bad as DK64 with the backtracking and stuff. Like, it's... With this game, the, there is backtracking, but with DK64, you'll have a case where you have to do one thing with DK, and then when you open the room with DK, you'll have, like, Lanky's Bananas, and Tiny's Minigame, and Diddy's Kasplat. Like, it's not it's not even close to being as bad as DK64 is with how, like, all over the place that game can be. You know, I do have a soft spot for it, but <laughs> it's very frustrating at times. No problem, Blake. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I do agree that Mayhem Temple gives the wrong impression. It's probably not the best first level because it's very much... Um, are you leaving as well, Naron? Uh, it's very much a more... You can beat most of Mayhem Temple in one go. Uh, and it's very more Banjo Kazooie like than, than the some of the other levels are. Oh, okay. I just I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> also, I hope you're doing well, Nara. And I I wasn't sure if we were doing anything last night. You weren't on, so and I wasn't feeling great anyway. But. Oh, uh, was it made for Banjo Kazooie? That makes sense then. The thing is, I did Glitter Gold for mine last time, and I honestly had a much better time with it than I was expecting. It really wasn't too bad. Oh, I have to, right, I have to learn how to talk. How do I, where do I, where do I go to talk like a dinosaur? Do I just go to any random guy? Dude, teach me. <laughs> what are you? A vicious T-Rex. You're not that vicious. <laughs> you don't even know how to roar properly. This one, I can see why this would throw people off, right? You get the baby T-Rex and you don't know you need to talk to a dinosaur to learn how to roar. You just will not know you, you can do anything with the baby T-Rex. Monkeys. I'm, I'm definitely, yeah, I'll make sure to put it on my calendar. I thought we I thought we had said Monday, but but that's fine. I mean, we didn't, I wasn't really sure if we were doing anything, so. Okay, so there is a, a Jiggy doing this. Oh, and there's a page, too. Cool. Uh, I think this will give me a signpost. Yeah, okay, what does this say? Roar, roar, long roar, roar, long roar. Okay, wait, hang on. Short, short, long. Short, long, long. Short, short, long. Oh my god. <laughs> short, short, long. Short, 
long, long. Short, short, long, short, long, long. Short, short, long, short, long, long. Well, the thing with Witchy World is it's designed like a Banjo-Kazooie level, though. Because... Because Witchy World is very circular in its design. So it makes you believe it's a Banjo-Kazooie World because it's very compact. Um, it's not as maze and labyrinth-like as some of the other levels. There you go, Dalton Girl. I'm doing well. Uh, I'm at, this level's going pretty smooth so far. It is long, though. We're already an hour in, and I haven't really made much progress. But a lot of Pterodactyl Land is a lot of setup. I don't think I even gone here yet. Oh, right, there's the notes I need. Can I even get these? Just gotta be careful. Short. Short, long, short, long, long. Alright, that's all I need with the baby T-Rex, right? Just that jiggy. Oh, right. <laughs> Remind me to come back for him. <laughs> I guess ideally it would be better to take him out first so you can get to that path without having to worry about falling here, but luckily I was able to do it without falling. Dude, SM, do you always have to come in here and, and mock the game I'm playing? <laughs> also, hey, SM. I was just getting over how... I was just telling people how much I think this game is is, is very good. <laughs> you can't mock uh, Friday. You can't mock me playing the game Friday. I mean, I can get why you would like it because, or not like it, because you like Super Mario 64, and you th and Banjo Kazooie is much more like Super Mario 64 compared to this game. I mean, I would not be opposed to that, but I don't think actually Eric would like that honestly. But it's not really a co-op game. Eric would absolutely like a, uh, like that as a baseball game. <laughs> How are you doing though, Eric? You said you were going to the beach today. I'm hoping you were careful at the beach. <sighs> That's good. Mumbo. I need you to make everything big. So, the three things I think I need to make big with Mumbo are the Path of Rocks, or the dick joke, um, <laughs> Humpa's Tent, and I'm hoping I didn't forget anything with the T-Rex, and, um, the T and the Stegosaurus. I think that's it. I don't think it is, though. I think people just think it is. Like, and on a first playthrough, maybe, but like we were saying earlier, I think part of the issue is people play this expecting it to be like Banjo Kazooie. And if you play with a different, uh, of the mentality of a Metroidvania, you would enjoy it a lot more. 
Because it's very, like, enjoyable to try and optimize this game. Um, because there's certain, there's a way that, ways to play the game to make it very, go very smooth. And, yeah, what, what Mr. B w was saying, like, even if you don't dig this game that much, it's not nearly on the level of DK64. <laughs> not even close. That game is way worse when it comes to being, like... Like, it's, the worlds like, aren't even that big, but there's way more backtracking and crap in that game. Well, yeah, you only need... But you only need 70 Jiggies to finish this, which is way less than Banda kazooie There's 90 Jiggies. But here's my thing is... DK64 and Super Mario 64 at that time as kids trained you to 100% a game. So most people 100 percent at Banjo because they're DK64. So sure, you only need 100 bananas, but how many people actually play it and only get 100 bananas? Like, I feel like most don't. <laughs> most try to get all of them. The whole point of a collectathon is getting everything because it's fun to get everything. Like, even this, I said, I, I, when I was going to replay this, my thought was, yeah, maybe I won't go for everything, and then, I, then I'm just going for everything. Oh, <laughs> I like the soundtrack, Nara. <laughs> can he? I don't think he can walk. No, there's no way he can walk up that path. That's fine. I thought you liked the sound effects, because the, the collectible sound effects I thought you said were good. Oh, I need to... Oh, okay, hang on. Right, I know what I... This is a little annoying. I need, a, I need to go a different path. I was in the right area already beforehand. <laughs> I... Hot take. And, like, when Eric is here, it's basically me having to defend my opinions. <laughs> I think that Banjo Tui has a better soundtrack than Kazooie. I don't really like most of Kazooie's songs. They're okay, but. Okay, so I need to go and make this sick dinosaur. Or not, no, no, no. Small dinosaur bigger. Welcome back, Odon girl. What kind of pizza? Also, I should point out, uh, I've now updated, if you haven't seen, I now have a new sub-goal. Uh, I'm not always about, like, you know... <laughs> I'm not trying to sell out, but uh, I do want to try and get that last emote slot, and if we do reach it, I will do a all-day stream. If we, get, if we reach that, I'll try and think of something for 50 points to get the, la the last uh, emote slot. Um, so yeah, that is, that is, and it's for sub points, not, uh, not subscri subscribers, just 35 sub points. Okay, so that should be all of the dinosaur stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, Ma he won't take it, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. I'll just come back with or no, can I? Maybe I can take it. Let me just see. He says that he'll pass it on, but maybe Mumbo can grab it. Okay, yeah, he can take it. Cool. The dialogue led me to believe I couldn't uh, get that. So that one's all taken care of, which is good. Alright, next I want to do the big T-Rex. Now, what is the big T-Rex? Big T-Rex will scare the one dude from the Unga Bunga Cave. And he'll stomp on the switch. But is there another thing I need the big T-Rex for? Does anyone, anyone remember? I think it's just those two things. But if there is one more thing, please let me know. Because I'd rather not have to... Uh, I'd rather not have to... Do it twice. Oh, 
oh, for a second Jiggy. I mean, this is true. I do like that you get the option for different uh, dialogue pieces, though. Like, if you talk with just Banjo, you miss out on stuff. But, like, it's cool that you can... There's different stuff, uh, different dialogue for what characters are talking. Smoked bacon, black olives, and green olives. Sounds good. I mean, I'm not really big on olives, but... I'm not not big on olives, either. Well, Eric, I will be playing Co Conquest tomorrow. And uh, we have a Name That Game Tune on Saturday at 7.30. If you want to try and win that if you're around. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go there next. I like how she didn't actually increase in size. But yeah, like, stuff like this is so fun. I, I, I like Pterodactyl Land because it has a lot of fun ideas in it. Uh, not only does it have the idea of using Mumbo to affect, you know, Humba's... Or using Mumbo to affect Humba's transformations. Uh, it also has the whole aspect of using the train as a mechanic to take up something out of level like like that's really cool I, I think there's a lot of cool ideas and i almost wish more of the game went in this direction i think people would have less of a problem with the direction of uh this game if it had gone harder on being more open worldy because it's kind of like kind of kazooie like you know, people get kind of annoyed with it. But if it had gone even further and being like, no, we're totally going to have connected worlds, I think people would have less of a problem because they wouldn't be misled. Um, and it, it makes sense. When you have expectations for a game and you and you get a different game than what you were expecting, I understand why you would be disappointed in, that, in those cases. Is he not? How do I get him to... Oh, I guess I wasn't close enough. The mossy field. What well, are you talking about? The stomping grounds? You don't do that with the T-Rex. Was well, there? Well, is there something else I need to do with the T-Rex? I think I just need to do that with the scaring and then the switch, and I think that's it. Unless, unless there is one more thing. What what are you what are you saying I have to do with the T? I don't think there's anything else I can get to with the big T Rex. Where where would it? <laughs> Mr. B, do you remember? Because I don't want to get rid. Because the last thing I'm gonna do is the thing with the. Um... Can I go that way? I must, what was over here? Oh, there's a boulder. Remind me to go get that before, after I'm done with this dinosaur. That's, yeah, that's the two that I remember. But I don't want to like, because once I hit the switch, I'm going to be transforming back. Okay, so we'll... Gotta hurry up here. Get in the pool. And we gotta hurry over to Okay, what are we at? So I have all the notes. I have one honeycomb to get, which was... Where was the other honeycomb? 
Maybe I haven't seen it yet. Uh, two Tito pages, one Jinjo, and the one move. Okay. So, let us go first to go get that boulder I saw. Oh, I know where. It's the one that's under what? No, no, no. That's a, no, that's a Jinjo still. Oh, I'll figure it out. Let's go get this boulder, and then I think it might be time for... Well, I do need to do Drippy's thing. But I don't think I can finish Drippy. Because Drippy, you need more... You need to do Cloud Cuckoo Land, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, so it might be time for Kazooie's solo adventure next. Now that I can actually get in the cave with the, uh, Bunga Bungas. See, that's the big thing is there's a lot of moving pieces here where you want to make sure you do it. Like, you can't do Kazooie's solo adventure and ideally until you get the ability to hatch eggs. But you can't do that until you open up the cave, which you can't do until you scare him as the dinosaur. It would have been. They're usually, usually if you have to do something like that, they don't, like, those things are usually something actually good. Yeah, right, you can't, yeah. It takes a while for her to do Drippy. Alright, I think I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna take a quick break, actually. A two-minute break, just to grab some water. Uh, and then... I guess we should do this stuff first. And then do Kazooie's solo adventure, because this stuff is easy. I think. Can I even do this yet? There's definitely a way to... Yeah, I think I can. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a quick break here. And when I get back, uh, more pterodactyl land. Be right back, guys. I am back. Okay. Canary Mary in the Clouds is not as bad as everyone mixed out to be, if you know the trick. If you don't know the trick, then you're absolutely correct. It's not great. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I have to do here? I make that go up. Try to remember. Is there a flay? There's probably a flay pad in here somewhere. I mean, I can't get up there with banjo. Is there a switch on the middle of the platform? There's the springy shoes. Okay, there is. Can I hit the? I think I can hit it with banjo. 
Oh, there's a flight pad right here, though. Okay. I could use the pack jump, but... easier to do it this way. Plus, yeah, I think I need to use that anyway. The trick, Mr. B, to beating Canary Mary in Cloud Cuckoo Land Round 2 is to um, realize that it has a rubber band AI. So you never want to pass it until the end. You always want to just keep pace with her. You want to just keep pace with her until the very end. And then rush to beat her at the very end. Okay, now it's time for the easiest minigame in the game. No, because it's very easy. <laughs> Here's how you win this game. Also, I apologize in advance if you don't like mo- don't- if you're most sickness, don't look away. <laughs> Literally the strat here. I want her- why is her head- I want this to go up a bit more. Also, if Naron is still here, I am so sorry. <laughs> I'll give you that the sound effect here is not great. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> I mean, it's the easiest way to do that game, is, is to just do that. <laughs> that's the- that's the actual pro strat. Yeah, I mean, it's very clear that you can tell that they were, at this point, Rare was like, hey, we made two shooters, let's just throw shooters into our, our platforming games. I don't mind it, though, at least in Kazooie, because um, it's way better than the stupid egg aiming in the first game. There was too many things in that game they required you to use egg stuff. I mean, I know that, that you can have that without it being a first-person shooter. But there was way too many garbage things that required uh, shooting eggs, but that the aiming with how you had to aim eggs in the first game did not really make it fun to play. Okay, um, I guess just take care of this one first. Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, well, I can. Hang on. Well, yeah, whatever. We're just going to do Kazooie's solo adventure now. Kazooie, be free! I hope I can do this now. <laughs> I do like that sound effect. What's in this? Oh, I, I got that already. That was where the baby T-Rex went. Yeah, I already fought Terry. I fought Terry near the beginning. You you definitely want to fight Terry near the start, because you can't do much until... Because you don't have the flight pads, and you don't have... Well, you can do a lot, but you can't do the flight, flight pads or anything that involves um, the eggs. Okay, let's go learn how to hatch eggs. I did most of Jolly Roger last time. I don't know how long we'll go today. I guess... I guess we'll do Grunty's Industries next. Is there a, re is there a reason to do... Can I, like, if you do Hellfire Peaks before Grunty's Industries, is that, like, is there a reason to do Grunty's Industries before Hellfire Peaks? I'm trying to remember. Okay. 
Okay, you can. Does that not work? There we go. You don't learn, no, you don't learn glide in Grunty's Industries. You learn glide in, um, you definitely, I'm 99% I'm sure you learn glide in Hailfire Peaks. I'm pretty sure. Okay, this goes to uh, Witchy World. Yeah, Snooze Pack. Snooze Pack I'll give you. That's the exit. Oh, this is not the cave. Wait, this is not the cave I wanted to go in. This is the wrong cave. I mean, I guess let's just, my, while I'm here, where is it? I unfortunately can't finish this until I get, um, I can't finish this until I get, uh, Claw Clan Reboots. Okay, it's the other cave I need to go into. I knew that, too. For some reason, I was thinking it was that cave. No, it's this one. I think it's in here? It's the one with the silly shoes guy. How do I get in there, though? Yeah, this one. What's he telling me? Who does he not let in, then? Does he not let Banjo in? He won't let you in wearing the the silly shoes, but like, what is what is his criteria? I know he won't let the T Rex in, probably. He won't let Mumbo in. I don't think. Okay, I did this section already. That leads me back to Ast or Mayan land, not Aztec. Can I get up there? I have to get up there though because that's where um maybe I do need Banjo to get up there. Unless he'll let me wear the boots now. Yeah. Oh no, he won't. Damn it. <laughs> Is the backflip a move? Uh -huh. what What's the easiest way to get back? Well, I guess we'll go this way. Can I not go in? So can I not do that yet then, technically? Or can I go in with Banjo? Because there is a split up pad in there. I just was hoping to... There's a lot of split up pads in this level, but I was hoping I didn't have to, like, backtrack. It, it's fine, honestly. The one nice thing, at least, is... Um... Ironically, wearing the shoes warped me to Banjo, so... <laughs> I guess, I don't know why, but sure. I think the egg hatching is the last big thing I need to do here as of right now. Can I, should I, I, I guess I should start the drippy stuff, right? Like, just fly up there? But I'm trying to think what else is left. I need... Okay, there's one Jinjo I need, which I think he's underwater. Um, I don't know how to get to that one. You, or no, did I get the underwater one? No. Oh, it's the, okay, hang on. You know what? Let's do that now. I need the torpedo. I can do that right now. 
Uh, the move is the A catching one, which I'm trying to get. And then what was the other things I need? A Cheeto page, which I can't remember where the Cheeto page is. Don't know where the honeycomb is. And there's six jiggies, so the four jiggies I'm missing are the egg hatching one, the one for the unga bungas, um, the one for Drippy, and the one... Do you get one for the, the Stopasaurus with Banjo? Oh, that is, you're right. I, for, I totally forgot about that. I think that... Well, I don't know if it... I think it's whatever the last one is. Whatever the last uh, baby you get, I think, is the fat one. So, ideally, I think what you want to do is make sure the fat one is, like, near the top. So, that egg that we saw at the top there, we want that one to be the last one. I think. Hey, Grim. If I'm remembering correctly. Alright, there's all the Jinjos. So, I can't remember where the Cheeto page or Honeycomb are. Do you guys know? You can tell me on that. I got the honeycomb that was in the cliff over there, and I got the honeycomb that was in the Stegosaurus cave. And I got the T-Rex uh, Cheeto page and the Cheeto page near Mumbo's hut. Tui's going pretty well for the most part so far. We're almost done with Pterodactyl Land for now at least. Okay, will he let me through? Yes. Okay, he just won't let because he won't let me wearing shoes. I guess because cheating. Which I think is kind of dumb, honestly. <laughs> no real reason to force Banjo to go in here. I guess I should get some clockwork eggs. What's over this way? Okay, this is the... Okay, so I need a... Where's the split on that? Right there, okay. There's an egg in that slot there, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god! Alright, Kazooie, go and learn how to sit on eggs. I can't believe that you're a bird who can't hatch eggs, it's so absurd. Then a real bird, I'll finally see. I don't think hatching eggs is like what makes a bird. What is a bird? Eggs. <laughs> Where does this one go? Where does this go to? Um, I don't think so, but I only- I haven't done too many of him today, so... Damn it! I can definitely get up here with this. Or, I can definitely leave. Yeah, that, he did at least twice last stream, for sure. Okay, so we'll do this egg first. Does anyone know how to open that gate and what's behind that gate? Or I guess that could be from a different level. It could be a different level, actually. I don't know what other levels it attach this one, though. Okay, so that's one baby. Okay, that's one. I guess we should bring Banjo along, because I'd rather him not be stuck in this cave. Oh. 
I guess flying back up to that one near the top is probably the best place to go. Or I guess near the bottom either. Aw, blue ghost. Oh, wait, do you have your sub back then, Naron? Awesome. Thank you for the sub then. So that probably was, because I last night I had 14 and then I went up to 15. That probably was from you then. What is in this hole? Oh, this hole is nothing, right? That one's the one that's completely pointless. Okay, let's go here. Does this lead me anywhere? I mean, it leads me somewhere, but does it lead me anywhere worthwhile? Oh, this is the river. Oh, I need to do this. Okay, right, 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 right. Right, I totally forgot about this. That's where the last honeycomb was. I'm very glad I did that. <laughs> okay, there's all the honeycombs. I just need one more Cheeto page. Which, do I get it from Drippy? I can't remember. And can I go to Drippy as just Kazoo? That's the other question. Well, hopefully I can get, if we can reach this uh, 35 goal, uh, hopefully, I know if when September hit, hits, uh, gift subs are half off, so I'm hoping to reach it so I can finally make Cool Ghost be added to the, um, the Pantheon again. I guess I should, no, you know what, I do want to put Banjo, hang on, I do want Banjo to be up. I mean, this is fine, but I'd rather Banjo be at the top. I'm gonna go to the flight pad first. Remind me before I go to the next level that I get more honeycombs. Okay, we don't want to do this egg first. We could, but whatever the last egg is, Golden Girl was right. Whatever the last, well, they thought it was a specific spot, but whatever the last egg is, I'm pretty sure it becomes a fat baby. And you need Banjo to carry the fat baby. Um, so, ideally, you want that to be the last egg you get. Because if you don't make it the last egg, then it's going to be a little bit annoying having to carry the baby up. I think you can use warp pads, but like trying to get up to Terry with 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 just banjo alone, it's not um, impossible, but it's a little annoying. Okay, there's this egg. So we got the one in the one cave. There's this one. How many eggs are there total? Oh, can I not? It's fine. We can do this. I just can't do the backflip yet, but it's fine. We got flight pads. You just have to go find one. Okay, where are the- where is- there's at least one more egg. Is there like four total or is there five? Uh, we're still good sound-wise, right guys? Please tell me I can get up here with Kazooie. No. It's fine though, I know what I, I can do. Man, Kazooie needs, like, to not suck right now. <laughs> Can I jump there? I guess we'll just go this way. Oh my god. 
The spring shoes are just basically, oh my god, portable um, spring pads. It's not really a new thing, it's just like, now you can spring anywhere, mostly. Maybe Jolly Roger, maybe Grunty's Industries, I don't know. I had to play. Not Pterodactyl Land. I, Pterodactyl Land is definitely not my least favorite. I actually don't mind this. We'll have to see, because we have a few levels left. Damn it. No, don't. <laughs> it's the wrong place to sit. Stop. <laughs> Get on the egg. Get on the egg. There we go. Okay, so Grim or Mr. B or Goldone Girl, where are the la where is the last egg before I get the like there's at least one more, right? Where is it? I can't remember. Was there one in the Ungabungas cave? I don't think there's any more on the overworld. I'm trying to think what caves there are. And there's also, oh right, uh, there's one rock guy to get. Don't let me forget about that. He's in the, um, he's in that place where I, I took the T-Rex. I gotta do him. He, okay, that's one of the jiggies I'm missing. Okay, where was I going with this? I was going, well I do want to do that, but I wanted to go I guess the drippy? Was that what I was doing? Is there a Cheeto page in here? Is there nothing in here? Okay, right, so, the, okay, that's the last Cheeto page, but you need to have the water in order to get that, I think. I think you might be able to cheese it with Banjo, with the pack jump. I'm not entirely positive on that. Do you not get a Jiggy from this? I think you do. <laughs> Seeker of beverages. Might I recommend some water? <laughs> We're not going to begin this for a while. I think I might be able to cheese this with Banjo. I'll try and... Well, no, no I can't because I can't get here with Banjo. I have to... I, there's no split pads. You can't. No. Maybe with Kazooie and Flipping, but I think you need the water. Okay. So we need to go and do that one stupid thing with... The Ungabunga, which hopefully I can remember where he is. Or not Ungabunga, the rock, the rock dude. <laughs> right here, okay. Um... I'm trying to think what's easier, to jump there with Kazooie or to jump there with the babies? I think probably the... It doesn't matter, either way you're gonna have to jump with the babies, so... Well, let's just not risk Kazooie falling. Damn it. 
It's fine, we have a few attempts at this. Uh, I will do that, yeah. Oh, this is... There was a shortcut! <laughs> there was a fucking shortcut! <laughs> I want to go the other way. think where the last eggs could be. Someone wants to look that up just so I'm not spending all day looking for eggs. Let's see if there wasn't one in here. Was There wasn't one in the Stegosaurus cave, was there? Because I can't finish these guys off just yet. There is something to do with Banjo in here, but I can't remember what it is. Like, did I come in here and was there... I think there... Yeah, right here. Okay, I was right. Okay, I remember there being one in a cave somewhere. Damn it. Why is it so hard to sit on these eggs? No, I want... Damn it! I need to get on the egg first before doing that. No, stop! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> No, because, like I said, the last one is the one... Well, I'm pretty sure it's always whatever the last one you get it becomes the big baby. Like, whatever egg you, you choose last. But that's why they give you the option. That's why they have the ability for Banjo to get up here. Because basically any egg that exists could be the last egg. So all of them have to account for the fact that Banjo should be able to get to them. Solo, that is. Why can't I get on this egg? Thank you. <laughs> okay, is it just four? Can we at least look up to see if there's four pterodactyls total? Or is it five? I don't care. I, I, know where the, I know where one is. I only care about the other location if there's only one more. I do not love a good egg. Eggs are the devil spawn. <laughs> They're awful. <laughs> The only thing I think of is, is, there's one more. I don't want to hatch the l next one and have it be not the last one. And then screw myself is the only thing. I, 
guess we should check the train station and the Stegosaurus cave. Because those would be the other places it might be. I don't think it's in the Stegosaurus cave. Or the train station for that matter. Because it's not on the overworld at this point. So I guess Drippy is just that Cheeto page, which is kind of stupid, honestly. If you don't get a Jiggy from J Drippy. Because what's left? Seven. So I get one for the laying the eggs. One for the Ungabungas. One for... What was the other one? Maybe it is Drippy. What's the other one from getting? Four eggs. Okay, so we're good. Once I do this, I'm pretty much done with Pterodactyl Land for now. Because I have to come back for... Oh, I said the Stomposaurus, but I don't know if the Stomposaurus... I don't think that... Maybe it doesn't give you a Jiggy. Maybe it just leads you somewhere. Maybe there's only one Jiggy for the Stomposaurus, and the other one leads you somewhere else. This should be the fat egg, baby. Yeah. Nice. She's a big girl, isn't she? Too right. She can't even fly. Uh, I'm not sure if there will be room in our nest. You couldn't just hit it. Wow. <laughs> mean. <laughs> this character's horrible. Even Kazooie's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, when Kazooie is like, what the hell, dude? You know, you know you've gone too far. Oh, I, no, I need you to split up again. So, see, if you do it like this, it's way faster than having to deal with carrying Banjo all the way up the mountain again. Because you're already here. I don't fall. <laughs> oh, the other way. Well, yeah, but he was like, he's fine with his regular babies. He doesn't like the ugly baby. That's the last one. Thank goodness, because we won't want to see another egg for the rest of the game. Well, too bad. <laughs> There's still more. Okay, so this took about two hours. It's not horrible. So what are we at? So yeah, I'm done. I'm done with Pterodactyl Land. Anything else I can't get yet. So actually, save and quit. Yes. All right. Um, I guess. So I guess here's the thing. I guess I should do. What do you have to backtrack for for Grunty Industries? Because you learn. Glide and. We said you learned Snooze Pack from Grunty Industries. What do you learn from. What do you learn from Hellfire Peaks? Ha <laughs> ha 
Um, what was I gonna do? Okay, I wanna go to the hatch the eggs first. Which I guess while I'm here, I might as well unlock Hellfire Peaks just ahead of time. Because I'm pretty sure I can. Shack pack, the ability... No, but isn't... <clears throat> What's the one you learn from Cloud Cuckoo Land? You learn the... You learn some... Something from that, right? Why isn't that the same thing? Why isn't it one move? <laughs> okay, so Hague is gonna hatch these eggs. They're all- all these rewards are completely useless, by the way. So, you get homing eggs. Actually, is homing eggs... Oh, you need to enter homing eggs. I might do that at some point. Are any of the Cheeto codes even good? Alright, no problem, Naron. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, Beagle... Big... Be... Briggle... Brat... Bash is not actually that good of a move. I guess it's not horrible, but... It's good in Smash, but... <laughs> it's weird that, that this special move that's only available via this, like, weird secret is, like, one of the Smash moves. So, are you back for good now? Or are you doing piano lessons? I wish eggs were not so... egg-shaped. <laughs> Okay, and this one gets you Jinjo, I think. Yeah, Jinjo as multiplayer character in Who is Jinjo? <laughs> I never played the multiplayer in this game. I did in DK64, my friend, uh, fa uh, my family, my brothers. Um, that was very fun. <clears throat> Alright, we might actually only do one more world. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be honest. I will say the the worlds we have left are kind of all kind of rough, honestly. I guess not Cloud Cuckoo Land, but I don't really rem I don't remember Cloud Cuckoo Land that much to really have an opinion on it. Hellfire Peaks.
Okay, what was the other thing I was gonna do? Get more health. I could go back to Glitter Gulch. Oh, I can unlock the. I can lock the next one too. Cool. Like, there's no reason not to go back to Glitter Gulch, right? Is there a better time to go back to Glitter Gulch? I might as well just finish that up and get the Dragon Kazooie. Which I guess I'll keep Dragon Kazooie, only because having the extra fire eggs is very nice. Summer has Fifi emotes, but <laughs> Summer's not a dragon. <laughs> oh, are you a dragon? know if Summer's still here. I have not really... I, I have it, but I've never really played it, honestly. So actually, here's the funny thing. I can, like, go to all the worlds right now. I could just go to Cloud Cuckoo Land. There's no real reason to, honestly. I am not a dragon. I have tried to play Radiant Dawn before, and I've gotten into, like, Ike section. I don't... I just don't like Radiant Dawn. I don't like it because the primer... primary... primarily because, um... The thing I like about Fire Emblem is that you get to construct a team of people to use. And that aspect is not really a thing you can do in Radiant Dawn. They just pretty much give you characters you have to use. You're not really building a team in the same way. Oh, right, right, right. I think I knew that. What do I even need in the overworld? There's six Jiggies, but the Jiggies are all just the Jinjos. There's one Jinjo I'm missing. Well, I also haven't even got to the Grunting Industries portion of the overworld. Okay, I think I can get another Honeycomb. Okay. So I guess we should go to Glitter Gulch. So there's two things I need to get doing Glitter Gulch, I'm pretty sure. I need to do... Okay, yeah. I need to do... Can you remember where it's at?
I need to do this this waterfall jiggy, which is very fast. And then I need to go to the water area. Actually, I think I can do it from here, actually. Unfortunately, I need to do... Well, no, I should, uh, I should be able to get from... Okay, hang on. Where is it? Is it the other way? No, it's the other direction. Okay, that's fine. Because I can... I think I can get to the, uh... The big globo from this area. Now that's the train station. Where the hell am I going? I went in the wrong way, apparently. But it was with the race... Oh, no, wait, that should still be... Wait. Well, we'll go the other way, because the other way should be right. I think that would have taken me to, to the place where the gate opens, but I think... I want to go this way. Easy Jiggy is easy. I think I am. I know she is ugly. I fully agree she is ugly. But she does have unlimited fire eggs, which are nice. Okay, this should be where I need to be. Do, 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 do. Now, there's one nice thing about, um, I don't think I want to go back to Witchy World just yet, because I have to go back there anyway because of, um, the cavemen, so I think I'm going to hold off on going back to Witchy World just yet. I don't want to go back into, um, Jolly Roger until very, the very end, actually, because I will get Glide, but I need to push, I need to kill George Isaac Cube's wife. So once I do that, I'll be good to go. Alright, I'll keep her. Okay, so what you need to do is you go in here. We already have our ice key. Now, this is actually Inhale Fire Peaks. So you can see. But you can only get there by going through here. So we can use our ice key to open up. The safe, and we get the Mega Globo. It's big. <laughs> wow, you caught the legendary Mega Globo. Blo not go blo Not go blow. <laughs> okay, I think I can save the point now. I don't know if this is actually faster, but whatever. So we want to go to Humba in the area outside Witchy World, and then I think we want to go to the next world. Because there's not really anything else we can we need to do. Surprisingly, I've not got a lot of Jinjo Jiggies yet. Fine Grove. So I guess we will go to which you were to Grunty Industries. The thing with Grunty Industries is it's unique because you can't actually enter the level. Um, at least not right off the bat. Yeah, I'm skipping. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is the only transformation that affects Kazooie in this game. And it's also the only permanent tr tr uh, transformation. But what's changed? 
Kazooie now big heap dragon. Burn many baddies. So Kazooie can now do this. Her voice is also slightly deeper and you have unlimited fire eggs. Those are the big advantages. Okay. Let's go to Grunting Industries, I guess. At least the start of Grunting Industries. <laughs> yeah, so I think because when I was a kid, because Grunting Industries is, first off, not only when you get into it, you can't actually get into it, as you'll quick you'll see in a little bit. Uh, the other thing with it is it's a level that um, is kind. Of, it's the only level in this section besides the final level. So when you're a kid and you're playing this, um, obviously you can unlock it. But like you wouldn't really like kid me didn't didn't was like oh it, you saw Hellfire Peaks I'll go there first, as well as like kid me was like. You know, you also see Cloud Cuckoo Land before you see this. Obviously, you need stuff in this section first before you can fully beat everything. But it's a very uh, easily missable stage as a kid, I feel. Is this the actual Jinjo? I'm trying to think if this is the actual Jinjo. <laughs> Can I get up? No, I already have the white Jinjo. That can't be real. Or I think I already have the white Jinjo. Yeah. That one's kind of a dick one because it's like, oh look, there's a, there's a Jinjo up there. Nope. <laughs> there's one more I need, but he might be in the final area. Grunty Industries. I don't really like this level that much, but, you know, mostly because it's just dark. It's so dark. What is over here? I don't hate this level, but I can't even do anything with you just yet. Okay, so as you notice, the doors are locked. The hatches are closed. But to go this way, it has good music. What does the sign say? Sure, on um, okay. Actually, wait, wait, what it does it say? Here, above the world entry, guarded by tin tops, floor two near the Elector Magnet Chamber, floor three near Mumbo Skull. I'm not gonna remember any of that. So if you go over here, you'll be able to get to a train switch. So you can't actually enter Grunny's Industries via the entrance. You have to actually come back. Oh, no, okay. I didn't know if that would work. I don't think there's anything else I can do here right now, honestly. That's literally it. Claw Clamor, which we don't have. So yeah, we cannot do anything else. We have to leave.
Oh, from fan. I'm not really a big Family Guy fan personally. All right, so we want to go in here. I guess we should go to Cliff Top. We could just go to Hailfire Peaks instead, but... <laughs> this is probably the best place to go. I mean, I guess I could go to Pterodactyl Land, but whatever. That way I'm about to call the train. don't have a train. I know Hailfire has a train. Cloud Cuckoo doesn't have a train. Mayan doesn't have a train. And Jolly Roger doesn't have a train. I think that's it. I mean, the fire level technically, but... I don't know if we can count that as technically a level. I mean, it is, but it isn't. I really don't know where to start on this level. Unlike Pterodactyl Land, which I had bits been a while, but I still knew what to do, I legit don't remember what to do in Grunty Industries. Because it's probably the one I've played the least, honestly. Maybe Cloud Cuckoo Land. Because I think I only beat this game once. But when I was a kid, like, kid me didn't care about beating games as much. So I would play until I was good, and usually I would stop around this time. So I think I've only actually beaten this game in full once, and because of that, um, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I know in general what you need to do, but there's, it's it's probably the most maze-like level. I find it weird that everyone has an issue with Pterodactyl Land, and I get why it's the first level that really requires you to think about what you do in what order. But I think this one is probably way worse, honestly, in terms of that aspect. We have these stupid things. <laughs> Ow. I know everyone likes to compare ukulele to banjo kazooie and say that it would be better if it was more like kazooie, but I actually don't think it really is. Hang on, I know what I want to do. Um, because I don't think many of the worlds in Ukulele are connected, and the backtracking in Ukulele is honestly not that good. 
I'll fully admit, I don't really like the backtracking ukulele because it doesn't have the sense of connecting worlds that Tui has. It's just kind of backtracking for the sake of backtracking a little bit. Though at least with that game, because you learn a lot of moves on the overworld, you can quickly like just learn all the moves and go back. Yeah, this one is very section off, and there's a lot you need to unlock in this one. Okay, um, let's open up the actual, and there's all those batteries in the earth thing. I feel like you want to do the battery stuff first. I can't remember what the mumble power is in this one. Probably something with electricity. Oh, right, and there's the stupid rabbits. Okay, let's first unlock... I need to split up, though. Let's unlock the main entrance of the world. I like Kazooie's deeper voice. I may actually need to take a break for water in a second. Don't know if I'll do Hailfire Peaks tonight. I may actually just do this and that'll be it. I don't know. If I do Hailfire Peaks, I guess if I do Hailfire Peaks, then I'm leaving just clean up and kill out Cuckoo Land the end for one stream, which is probably fine, honestly, but I can't do that yet. Okay. This is, okay, this is the aircon plan. That's where boss is? I don't think I can do this yet. Or no, is this something... Wait. There's a note down here. <laughs> Repair Depot. Which I'm pretty sure is where the boss is. But I don't think I can... I think I need Mumbo? Because you can't cross this. I really can't remember, honestly. Oh, I can just... Oh yeah, no, I know there's another shooting section. It's probably my least favorite shooting section. But I don't know, the one in Glitter Gulch is also pretty bad. Oh, oh, this is, okay, right, this is where you have, okay. Yeah, cause that's where the, that's where Weldar is. I can't even see where I'm going. Am I making progress? I think. Oh no, is this not where well wait? I don't even remember. It's gonna be a lot of like confusion in this one. This level. I thought maybe I'd be confused in Pterodactyl Land, but I thought that went pretty smooth. Get there. I know I need to turn the fan off. I don't think there's any way to like. There's no. Okay, so you can't do this yet. I guess my first goal should be to worry about the batteries, honestly. 
And Mumbo. Because there's a lot I can't do yet. Okay, so here's one thing I can... Okay, let's do this first. Well, actually, let's go here first. But um, there's a battery outside that I can easily get. So let's get that one first. But let's go here, because... Is the camera in this area? Let's enter and just quickly look for the camera. Is it above me? Oh. Where is it? I don't even see it in this room. It's not in the corner there, is it? It is just for Gemini. Oh, there it is. Those things are annoying if you just don't take care of them. Oh look, logo. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of toilet humor, honestly. Or literal toilet humor. <laughs> I like how most of the, like, like, logo is just a pointless, this is a Cheeto page, I'm pretty sure. Like, he's not anything important. He used to be a Jiggy, and now he's just like, here's this Cheeto page. No, Colton stuff is not good for, especially older toilets. You don't want to use that stuff. Did the ca camera respawn? God damn it. Oh, whatever. Okay, there is a bunny in here. Or nearby. Is there anything in this room? This room has the bunny. If that was anything I could get into. There's gonna be something else in this section. I mean, I know I have to come back for the stupid bunny, but. Oh, that might be the elevator, actually, because I think you have to use. I think you have to go here with the elevator. No, I can't go up that way. Alright, let's go and get my first battery. care if I die, but I really don't want to die. 
Yeah, snooze pack will be nice. I'll be getting it soon. I was not that far off the ground. <laughs> Pretty sure I have to go grab the battery again. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, oh so that's actually a pro strat then. Pro strats, quick, quick respawn. Okay, I want to go over here. So, okay, you can normally get there. I was going to be like, I don't know if you can normally make that jump. Okay, is the waste disposal plant... Hey, Cake Man. I mean, I don't know about best world, but... <laughs> it is a world. What is in here? Oh, okay. I need you. I can now use the snooze pack. So I can get my energy back. I, I don't think this is my least favorite world. I think I just don't know it well. I think Jolly Roger might be my least favorite. Honestly, not even because it's that bad. I just hate the stupid underwater section. Even if the controls are not horrible, they're still bad. I don't think I can do this yet. I'm pretty sure. Do you need those notes, though? I like the idea behind this world a lot. My issue right now is just, just remembering what to do. Because it's been a while. Is it? <laughs> I might need to come here with Kazooie. No, I need Banjo. <laughs> cheese it! Just cheese it! Do I need Kazooie to go across though? No, okay, cool. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do it that way. You're supposed to like legit come back with the pack that lets you go through waste. But with the pet pack jump, you can kind of cheese that one. Is that all that's in the waste disposal plant? Okay, so where do I want to go next? Well, yeah, it's supposed to. But the pack, like if I had not done the pack jump once during that, it would have. But because I did the pack jump and you're not, it, the pack jump is, is, a, is a glitch. You're not supposed to be able to do that. I think that it made the game be like, uh, okay, I guess, like, I just, I think it broke the game a bit. <laughs> I don't know for sure on that, but I, that's my guess, guesstimate. Okay, so here's the question. I think I want to go up here next. I'm trying, oh, or, hang on. That's probably Kazooie. I probably need Kazooie for that. There's not many double moves that we learn at this point. It's mostly split up moves. Or is it Banjo? Okay, hang on. What are you. S Only you, Bird Brain. You'll need. Oh, is this the. This is the Claw Clamber then. Well, I thought we. No, I guess we do learn the Claw Clamber here. Okay, this is the Claw Clamber. This is the so Kazooie does learn the black flip here. The pack jump makes things so much easier. And I mean, like once I learned about it, I'm like, well, I'm never not gonna use it at this point. Okay, so then all we need is the back flip. So 
Is there anything I want to use the pack jump for in or the clock climber in this area? I need those. Okay, let me go get those notes first. I know there is a claw clamor outside. No, flip up. Most of the soul, the duo moves in this are either here's this thing you could learn before, but it's we, we've enhanced it like the bill drill eggs or like boots or something or it's uh something you um yeah mostly that most of the cool moves in this are like the split up moves Do anything here? I know there's a stuff outside, I just don't know if I want to do that stuff yet. That's the elevator for the washing machine. What is the point of. There's gotta be a point to this, right? Like, they wouldn't let you come up here and then have no reason to come up here. I mean, I, I would hope. I mean, there's eggs, but... I know there's something in the hole, but I was seeing if there was anything on this side first. I guess it's just the eggs, which is kind of dumb. The hole leads you to the next level, I'm pretty sure. Or next floor, rather. Which, I guess I should do this because I might as well get another... Warp pad activated. This is the second floor. That's the elevator. Okay, there's Humba's place. Here, Globo. Right, with the backflip. Yeah, but it had to be Solo Kazooie, and I don't think you can... Well, no, I guess you can... No, you can definitely get up there with Solo Kazooie. Um... Where is the warp pad? Oh, that's not gonna work. We need to be... Those are clock hammer boots. That takes me down to floor one. That I don't think I can enter. I might be able to enter as the uh, washing machine. This goes back to um, uh, No, where is this? Go? Oh my god, I don't want the boots! <laughs> Not yet, at least. I'm just exploring to kind of get my bearings here. What is, okay, there's a battery. So that's one of the batteries. Hey. 
That gets me a bunny rabbit. Is that all it gets me? Also gets me over there. I'll hang on for a second because I think there's a warp in Humba's room. Don't know if it's in her tent. I mean, I'm not ready to do Humba just yet. I wish the cameras didn't respawn on that, honestly. Oh, this is another new area. Oh my god, this... You wonder why I don't like this level that much. I don't hate it, but it is very maze-like. Probably more than any of the other levels. Okay, this will give me the split up. I don't know where I need the battery just yet, though. There's another battery over here. I need... I need the war path, is what I need. Okay, this will give me a battery to the electromagnet chamber. Does this lead me? Where does this lead me? It's back to floor two, okay. Before I do that, I want to see... Okay, there's the warp pad. I just didn't see that. This, I think, goes to another floor. Maybe? Maybe not. Uh, I want to see what that floor one thing led me to. Like if it was a shortcut. And then I'll go and get that battery, probably. Okay, this leads me outside. Uh, what's in this room? Where is it? it must be coming from the room that I can't get into. Okay. It's like, where's that sound coming from? This will lead me outside. I think to the back? There's claw clamor boots. It's another switch. Which, this one, okay, this one I need the boots for. I think I want to do this one now. I might as well. Yeah, because it's a Jinjo. Okay. Oh, but you need to split up for this. Okay. So, here's what we'll do. So, Banjo needs to land on that, and then Kazooie needs to use the boots. What's over here? This is the stupid. Okay, right. It's one of the rabbits. You can tell I have not memorized this world as much. Okay, before I go back in to split up, that Jinjo I think is fake. I just want to see what's up here first. You're fake. I don't think there's anything else on this side. Okay. So we'll go. Back in here. Take care of this first just to get out of the way. And then we'll start doing more exploration of, of the second area. There's still one more claw clamor boot area outside I can get to as well. Okay, so let's start our splitting up. 
So I want to go here. That's not the right button, whatever. <laughs> Banjo. Oh, I didn't get that note. Also, I need the snooze pack. Oh, I learned the snooze pack, didn't I? Hang on. How do I get to that, uh... How do I get to that Jinjo? Let's see. The Claw Clamor won't... No, where does that even lead me to? Oh, that's... Okay, hang on. I want to do... Well, let's get the battery first. And then we need Kazooie to get the backflip. Okay, so first things first. Don't think I can pack jump over there. So we'll just do this the normal way. Hope everyone's having a good night tonight, by the way. Now where do I, I need to go back up here for that? Walking's good. No fat shaming though. No fat shaming is allowed in this chat. If you're try if you're trying to lose weight, then you you deserve nothing but uh, adoration. I don't know where that leads to. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. What's even in here? both of us for this. Or I need the I might need the washing machine. I can't remember. What's what say? Can I hit that button? Totally can. Okay, cool. Uh, the electromagnet chamber? Do I need to do anything in the elevator shaft? Okay, but this is just a shortcut. Because I couldn't get I couldn't do anything here before in the elevator shaft. Hey, Salas. I'm finding a lot of people like this level... Despite not liking the other, like, to me it's weird. Because I kind of like Pterodactyl a lot. But it seems like a lot of people are like, nah, I love this level. Which is, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay, um. I guess let's go get that Jinjo and then teach Kazooie how to backflip again. Yeah, you can go this way, Banjo. I don't know if I'm doing this the most optimal way. The big thing is just don't do any of the Humba stuff until... I, I think I need to get most of the batteries in first. Same with Mumbo. I can't remember what... Mumbo has to do something with electricity. Like either slowing things down or speeding things up or something like that. I can understand that. It's a level I always forget about, because like I said, because of where it's located and because of the fact you have to take the train to get into it, uh, it's it's a very forgettable level to me. Where's the switch? That's over there. 
Oh, no, 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 don't get me wrong. I think it is very clever. What I'm saying is, when I was a kid, right, you see Hellfire Peaks, like, near the beginning. You see that, like, when you go to, to Jolly Roger. Um, and you see, you can get to Cloud Cuckoo Land as well pretty early. As a kid, and this is the only level that's, that's in the Quagmire, as a kid, I'm totally gonna die. <laughs> Uh, as a kid, I totally forgot about, um, uh, I, I think I just did not go to stupid, uh, of course it's gonna put Banjo back here, too. Um, I just never went to, uh, to Grunty's Industries much, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of skipped it, it was kind of like hidden away a little bit. The, the sneaking in with the train is, is cool, but as a kid, I just didn't really, I think even when I found out, I'm like, well, I can't do anything in this level, so I just didn't, I think I just left, and... Did Hailfire Peaks instead. But I do think it's very cool. Like I was gonna get water and I haven't yet. Let's get this taken care of first and then I think I'll get some water. Not die as Kazooie. Kazooie needs more health. Where is the Claw Clamber Boots in this area? I had to go from, I probably had to go from down below. Oh no, that's not the... It's in here, right? Um, I've just kind of started. I haven't made much. I've gotten all the moves at this point, though, for the most part. I totally could... I lost track of where I was going there. Hang on. Like, I did some of the stuff on the first floor. I cheesed a Jiggy with... So, you know the Jiggy that you have to get with Banjo and come back with the Shack Pack? I cheesed it. <laughs> I already gotten that one. <laughs> I use, because basically, I think because of the pack jump, if you do it once during that, the game just doesn't register the, the acid as taking you back. Or at least, if you're quick about it, it doesn't really flip you back. I think, you know, that's the thing when it comes to watching streams, right? Uh, you know, a lot of people have their own opinions of things, and sometimes... I think what, what the ideal thing is to do is take what people think, but don't let that base your opinion on. Use it to enhance your own viewpoint. You know what I mean? Well, I might still do Hailfire Peak, so we still have a chance. Oh, I need to do the Lake Spring in that room, didn't I? Oh, for the- okay, for the Jinjo. That's fine, we'll just... You know what I'll do? I'll die once I do this, and I can respawn back there, I think with Banjo. Go fast. Actually, you don't need to go fast. There's no speed limit on this one. I mean, the speed is don't run out of your shoes, but... Just to get back down, I guess. Screw that. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right, what do I want to do next? Do I want to go in the electromagnet? Oh, I, okay, you know what I do. 
Yeah, I do want to go there next. I mean, there's other things I could do, but I don't want to forget this. Damn it. Also, don't forget, guys, tomorrow, Pokemon Conquest, starting that. Blind, and uh, Friday, me and SM are going to be finishing up the War Group Double Trouble DLC. And Saturday, uh, name that game to at 7.30 Eastern. And then I'm going to probably take a break until Wednesday, so there's a lot of streaming this week. Okay, maybe I do need the washing machine, but I just want to see. Okay, yeah, I do need the washing machine for that. I also definitely do need to go grab some water, but, uh... Okay, so that's fine, because I can get back up there, or I had to get back up there with the washing machine, so it's fine. So this area... What was in this? There was a battery in this section, right? No, this is Humbug. Okay, the question is, where do I take this battery? I don't think I can split up here. So I want to get this battery. Um, do I go in the elevator shaft? Because I don't know where the next battery spot is. Yeah, you can tell Salas that I, I definitely am not as familiar with this level as the other ones. Damn it! I thought I had enough time. I know I have the spring pad, but I don't think I can reach it with the spring pad. Kazooie by herself I definitely can, but... Damn, I think the thing with, with the pack jump is it, it doesn't account for the fact that you have the pack jump, so it's treating it as if you were falling from the original height. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're fine. up there. What else is in this room? I don't know if I can actually do anything with this one yet. It's the only problem. I want to say maybe the battery is in the elevator shaft itself, but I don't honestly remember here. I can get up there with the claw clamor boots. Do I really want to, though? What is up there? Besides the rabbit. I guess kill you guys first. Like, there's the rabbit. Where is that lead? Oh, there's a way up. But I can't get there with just Banjo. I can get there with Kazooie, though. Well, I can get there as a team, rather. Okay, here's what I'm hoping. Where was the elevator shaft? It was... I could get through... Okay, I could get to there through here, I think. So, let's go... See if I can use the battery there so I don't waste it. And then we'll take Kazooie up that path. There's also the Claw Clamor outside I can still do, so don't forget about that.
I can't get up here, right? Oh, right there. Yeah, because I definitely got up here with just Panda before. Third floor. Is open. What about the fourth floor? Otherwise I'll go, the th I just want to put the battery in somewhere and then I'll go back and get Kazooie and check the other pathway. Is there nothing up here? Or did I just totally miss it? Oh wait, hang on, what's this? The twin chimneys both have a prize, okay. Unscrew bolts with the bill drill. Thank you for stuff I already know. Okay. Um... Right, so there's the fourth floor. Do I want to go to the fourth or the third? I just need a place to dump this battery, but an ideal place to dump the battery. Okay, I can't go. Okay, so I can't do anything in the fourth floor. Maybe I pro probably can't do anything in the third floor either, honestly. I think there might be, like, the third floor might be the only one that you can actually get into, but I'm not entirely sure on that, and we'll find out in a second. Nope, okay. So I don't know if I can do anything with the battery just yet. Unfortunately, because if anyone knows, tell me, because I'd rather not waste it, but I already got the one on the first floor. I don't think there's any more. And anything else I need to do, I need Kazooie for to get forward, at least, for now. Because I think if I combine with Kazooie, I lose the battery, right? Or rather, I can't... Well, the, the battery won't stay there, will it? I don't think it will. Okay, let's go this way. No, I'm talking about where to put the batteries. Because I found the battery. I need, to, I need to know where to put the battery. Okay, first off, where does this go? Before I go up, I want to see what this goes to. Okay, I actually did want this because... Okay, cool. Because now I can use the washing machine to get in here. I know I'm not the washing machine yet. But I don't want to become it just yet. Okay, I don't want to see where this takes me before I... I think it's just eggs, but I want to make sure. Yeah, I did the that. I did the electromagnet. The boiler room between the two big boiler tanks and the cable room. So I have one of the batteries. I need to just take it. So I, I have to do it in either 
floor three or four, but I can't do that yet because I don't have easy access to that on Banjo. Or with anyone for that matter. Um, floor, uh, and then the other battery I don't know just where it is, but I'm not worried about that yet because I still have a lot to explore. Okay, remind me that I still need to go outside and use the clock hammer boots on the outside of the, uh, the building. This is the third floor. I like that Mumbo and Humba's huts are different in this world. It's kind of I wish all of them were. I mean, some of them are, but I wish there was more. Okay, there's one of the batteries. So I want to take the last one to the fourth floor then. I'm not gonna do Mumbo, I'm just stopping in here because, assuming there's not an enemy in here, you never know. Okay, uh, I am going to take a quick break here, grab some water, and when I get back, uh, more of Grunty Industries. Be right back, guys. I'm back. <clears throat> What's the laughing for? So, um, I don't... We've already been almost two hours, and I don't feel like I made much progress in this world so far. 
And I don't think I probably will. If I do anything in Hellfire Peaks, it's not going to be much. I think I'm probably going to save that for next time. Maybe I'll do a little bit of Hellfire Peaks, but... I'm not going to complete Hellfire Peaks. Because that went way too long last time. <laughs> I guess I should, can I even get, I guess I should go ahead and take care of that battery now. I, I, assuming I can get there. The batteries are the most annoying part, honestly. I think that's the thing that I don't like about the level, is it's an added thing you don't even need to really, like you already have other stuff to deal with. Well, I just can't remember if I, can get to it. I, th I think I can. I don't know why I wouldn't be able to. Cause it's on the third floor, so. Also, pack jump makes things so much nicer. <laughs> pack jump. I don't give a shit. That <laughs> doesn't rhyme. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to get over here, but... Actually, you might not even be able to, but either way. Or maybe you, you are able to already, but... That's not where the battery is. Where's the battery? through there, is it? Boiler room. How do I get in there? It might be actually a random door, actually. Or it's through here. No, that just leads back to... Why? <laughs> I mean, I guess I can use Kazooie to get through here fast, then. Right there? There's the boiler crack plant. Okay, but I need the batteries for that. It's gotta be up here somewhere. Why do I hear bouncing? There shouldn't be another battery. What's over there? That's where I came from. Oh, it's the Globo. I'm like, what's that bouncing up to? Okay. So there's gotta be... I need bell drill for that. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I think that door was for the washing machine, but... that switch. Okay, so we need to go get Kazooie back. Uh, first, I want to see if I can get the Globo here, though. I think he's on... Is 
you were there? Does it count though? Damn it! Damn it! I should just go and get Kazooie, right? Huh? Honestly, <laughs> Banjo with the pack jump is, I think, is a little bit more mobile than Kazooie or. Not, not more mobile than Kazooie, but more mobile than Banjo with Kazooie. Ginger over there. Oh, there's an exit. Is this a real Jinjo or a fake Jinjo? Probably fake. I don't have a way to shoot him though because I don't have my bird with me. I also still have not got that Globo that I was gonna get. Yeah, okay, he's fake. Is this global? <laughs> I heard him, right? You hear him over there. Where the heck is he? I can't be up there. Oh, I see it. I saw it earlier, too. I forgot about him, though. Damn it. Okay, I can get back up there. Just give me a second. Oh, get in my belly. Should I go for that last thing with Banjo alone? I can't remember if I... I might need Kazumi anyway, though, honestly. Because it's outside. Alright, let's just grab her. I don't want to use Mumbo just yet, because I don't know what I need for Mumbo just yet. Okay, so let's go... To the pet, let's go to the boiler room, I think, first. This isn't the boiler room. That goes back to okay, I wanna go this way. Can't go in okay, it's up here. Right? Wait, where? Hang on. Yeah, no, it was up. It was up here somewhere. It was actually easier with just banjo, honestly. All right, there we go. Like you had to climb up boxes. This is not efficient design for this this area. Um, can I get in here? I feel like you can get in these boilers. 
Not really. I hear a help dude. Where's the help dude? Well, first let's do this. Alright, they gotta give me a cutscene for every single one of these. Right, because this will let. Okay, so this will let him slow down that area. There's that. That's not the only mumbo pad, right? I'm pretty sure. I'll be honest, this is definitely the one where I forget what you do with Mumbo the most. Because I never do... I, I, in general, I just forget this level, but... Um, okay, can I go in this one? I think I can go in this one. Can I not? I don't know. I remember going in a boiler somewhere. I think I have a different game. Anyway, let's go in the packing room. Yeah, I... I I do apologize, this one is definitely the one I forget about. This level. Okay, rules are available if required. No. Right, right, right. What am I doing? Get in the shoes! Get in my belly! <laughs> hey, cool. There's only one level of this, right? That one's not too bad. None of the minigames in this game are really that bad, honestly. Okay, um, I think I want to go, tell me if I need to do anything with that boiler, I feel like I do, I just can't remember, maybe not, but I think I want to go outside, again, because I know there's, I know there's more to do in this area. Well, actually... Let me go over there first. But a lot of it is stuff I can't do right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought for sure you could enter the boilers. Maybe I... Could I shoot an ice egg in there, maybe? I want to say you can shoot ice egg in there, maybe. Because I really don't... I remember doing something with the boilers, but maybe I'm thinking of a different game or a different segment? I don't know. Yeah, I don't 
don't know. Did I get the Jinjo that was in here? I think I did, right? Or I heard him saying help, but I don't hear him anymore, so I must have. No, he's still up there. How do I get up there? Do I have to go from the, from the chimneys themselves, maybe? Yeah, because there's a hole. See, there's a hole. I have to go from the chimney to get that. Okay, okay. So we know how to get that Jinjo. I tried earlier. I couldn't. I tried jumping in. It didn't work. So it's definitely not that. Or if it is, there's something you have to do beforehand. Even not remembering this game too much, it's. I feel like there is definitely a sort of rhythm to this. to, to Banjo Tooie's level design. Where you can go into a level and be like, okay, clearly I need to worry about the batteries, and I need to worry about opening the levels up. Like, you have a plan in mind of what you need to do uh, to make things efficient for yourself. That was the fake Jinjo. I need... How did I get up there? There's that one. Okay, I need to go back over there. Can I make this? Just... Really? <laughs> Damn clubs game. I think Pack Jump Banjo could have made it. Banjo is so much better. I think I just go up here actually now that I'm using my brain. <laughs> Ow! Sure! <laughs> Can I get in that box? What's the point of the box? Why is it there? There's nothing in this section, right? Because that Jinjo is complete. Yeah, so that Jinjo is pointless. All right, let's let's go outside. This one's kind of mean. This level with some of its uh, locations, because there's a lot of like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, fuck. Okay, it's fine. I died at least. Um, it's mean with some of its. Uh, like, really game? Really. Really game. <laughs> really. It's fine. We got the elevator we can go back up in. Um, it has a lot of mean uh, red herrings. But while I'm down here... Where is it? Hey, thank you, Revolve 2, for the uh, follow. Currently playing some Banjo Tooie. Uh, making our way through Grunty's Industries. Oh, uh, what's in the box is from. No, no, that's from. Uh, what is it? Nine or something? It's the movie with the. Or no, 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 seven. Seven or something. It's the movie with the seven deadly sin killer or something. Damn it. This one is annoying because you have a timer and you have to make that jump. Okay. No, not a legal legal reference. Ha 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 
Yeah, right, it's seven with a seven. We gotta do this first, and then... I do have the warp pad. I don't think I got a warp on the third floor for whatever reason. Damn it! Why is the timing on that one so hard? <laughs> I guess you could do it as just Kazooie because he's a little faster. That might be the that might be the strat here. Cause Banjo's too fat. Okay, let's try it with just Kazooie. I need to do some things with Kazooie anyway. Oh, I don't know if I watched that one. Like, his real law reviews, I don't know if I watched those. Okay. And just for that, like, <laughs> it's all my notes, by the way, or not? It's all my notes. We still have two more Jiggies or Jinjos to get, one more Honeycomb, two more uh, Cheeto pages, and a shit ton of Jiggies. Okay, before I head back up the elevator to get to the next area. I think I need Glide for this, if I remember correctly, but I, I want to check. Careful. Actually, I'll grab some, uh, I'll grab grenades. From the back a little bit? Can I not make this? How do I get up here? There's gotta be a way to get up here. It's not from here. Maybe it is via gliding. I don't know where I would glide from. I guess from that area. Where's this lead? I didn't get here earlier. All oh, right, this one. This one I need banjo for. I think I can just... I might either need Mumbo for this, or I think I can do this right now, can I? I do think I need Glide to get it. I don't even know how to get up there, though. Probably from the... Air, I guess? There's nothing in this pipe though, is there? I can't climb it, no. Well, I already have Snooze Pack, because you get it in this level, so we're good. The issue is going to be, how do I get up there? Oh, I know how, because you're supposed to... Okay, right, you're supposed to... Okay. I think maybe I could cheese it, but I'm going to wait, because um, I need... 
I need to knock those from the top floor down. I don't know if it's on the third floor, but there's two, or maybe it's the second floor, but there's two, uh, sc there's screws I need to remove, so. Okay. Let's see. I guess the elevator is the best place to go. The good thing is, once I finish up all this setup, like, a lot of them will be very fast. It's just getting everything set up first. Like, I don't want to do the washing machine until I have all the pathways opened. Uh, there's a few I've already done, but yeah, there is some stuff I have to do outside. Not a ton, actually. I have to get to the top, but I don't think I can do that yet. Like the top of the tower. I got the one Jinjo and I got the battery. I do need to do the one little uh, rabbit, but I haven't done, I'm not even doing the rabbit yet. What am I doing? I don't even need to do this. Just trying to remember where that. Oh my god. Where the screws are for that one, uh, for the trash compactor jiggy. I can't imagine it's on the fourth floor. It's gotta be on the, it's gotta be on the second somewhere that I missed. Yeah, it has to be on the second because the third had one for the second floor. So it has to be on the second floor somewhere. But we gotta do this first. Floor machine for that. There's a lot you need to do as the washing machine, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I don't need to be the washing machine for that, but there is a shit ton you need to do as the washing machine. Okay, right. Now we have the flight pads. I need to open the door for the elevator, though. That's the big thing I need to do. So that might also be a battery thing. Um, well, okay, wait. The flight pads might lead me to an alternate section of the fourth floor. Oh, wait. What's this? Okay, that's the elevator. Or that's the service elevator. Where is this thing? Okay, this is... Warp. This I need another, okay, this is another Mumbo, or a Mumbo one here, I'm pretty sure. That's Mumbo. What do I need to split up here for? the flight pad ones. Okay, this I need to unscrew from the roof. Is the elevator door not in this section then? Oh. 
It might be from outside, actually. If you know for sure, let me know, because if the elevator is in this section, I do have the warp pad at least, so I can come back with that, but I didn't see it here. There's this, but this is the service elevator. It's not what I... I want to say I need to fly, or... You know what? I might not be able to use the next battery until I use Mumbo. The next battery might be on the other pa on the uh, on the other side of that area. That actually might be the case. Okay, so let's go. I think we should be good to use Mumbo. He's is he only in two locations? He should be good to be used whenever. But I want to go outside first and do the flight pads. I also still have some screws I need to loosen somewhere. I'm gonna die here. Fine. I'll take one hit here, but it's fine. Just don't die here. Damn it. Whatever. We'll start back at the entrance, so it's fine. Yeah, this one is definitely... If you've never played this before, this one is, I think, the most... Everyone says Pterodactyl Land is very convoluted. This is way more, but I don't mind it. Well, it's definitely more convoluted than... Uh, there's just so many things you have to unlock in this level. And I kind of like it because of that, but... Oh, right. Oh, my God. Do you remember that move, guys? <laughs> Remember the beak? Whatever it's called? <laughs> it is a crazy vertical level. Okay, that gets me the cheetah page. Is there anything else I can do in here? Why is that sparking? What is even causing the sparks in this? Whenever a move from Banjo-Kazooie comes back and is useful, it's like, oh yeah, I have that move. <laughs> this, move this game does not utilize that that much. You didn't even need, I didn't even need to use the stupid claw clamor boots. I could have just done this. I have not memorized this level, but I want to say I'm doing pretty good so far, honestly. Despite not memorizing the level. Like, I don't think I'm, I'm... Okay, this is... Okay, this is the thing I need. Right. Yeah, I, besides being a little lost, I don't think I've done too much unnecessary backtracking for the most part. I don't know how I beat this game in 12 hours, the one... I must have been, like, on a ball somehow. I think because maybe at the time I had watched Big Dip on a Bus's Let's Play of it, so I think everything was fresh in my mind of what to do. Whereas now it's been like 10 years, so even though I remember some stuff, I don't remember everything. Well, I don't really, I don't know if caffeine. I say I don't take caffeine. I don't drink coffee, but uh, back in college I did have those like, they had a vending machine. And they had, like, you could use your student ID card on the vending machines uh, with money that was preloaded into it via, like, you get so much per week. Um, so I would, uh, which, which also is a horrible idea, by the way, to, to have students have, like, free, anything on this? Giving students, basically, student ID credit cards is not a great idea, honestly. Great idea to make money, not a great idea for responsibility. But, um... 
So one of the, the, the vending machines had five hour energy drinks. By the way, don't drink five hour energy drinks. They're horrible for you. But you know, when I was in college, I would drink those. I don't know if they changed what's in it now. I mean, don't think of, drink them at any any time here. It doesn't matter what time it is. I think that's it for the. I just want to see if there's one more window. That looks like it's it. Oh wait, hang on. Before I do this, there should be a warp. Yeah, I want to get the warp pad first. Okay, let's get. That is the honeycomb. Is that all my honeycombs? All the honeycombs, one Cheeto page, and then just and then two Jinjos, and then just jiggy jiggy jiggy. <laughs> it's time to get jiggy with it. No, there's I had to beak bro hang on. There is a way to get in this chimney. There's like a yeah, right there. Like, I know there's a way to get in here. Okay, so one Jinjo. Jinjo! Can I get back up from here or will it not let me? Oh. Oh, it won't let me, damn it. Kind of expected that, but I was hoping they would. Regardless, I got the war pad, so we're fine. You know, playing this again, even though I am getting lost, I I really do appreciate this level. I don't think it's bad at all. It's very it's very labyrinth-like, but I don't mind that honestly. I think it's actually kind of good. I think the the only level so far I've had a bad time playing, and part of it was I was playing when I like near. I probably should have stopped earlier. Uh, but Jolly Roger, I really didn't enjoy honestly. There wasn't anything up here, was there? No, that just leads a shortcut, I guess. Okay. Um... You know what? Hang on. I need him on the second floor. I guess let's just get Mumbo taken care of. While I'm here, might as well, so I don't forget. Uh, can we get a confirmation? I only need Mumbo for two things, right? The thing on floor two and the thing on floor four. Is there another one I need to do? And if so, tell me before I become Mumbo. <laughs> or before I leave Mumbo's hut, at least. Or I guess the better question is, if there's one more I need to do, can I do it now? One of them you need Humba also? Why? I know the washing machine, but why would the washing machine affect Mumbo? I mean, obviously the top one I don't. Unless you mean I need to, to finish them, I need Humba. I'm just asking before I do Mumbo, do I need to do something with Humba beforehand or no? There's a room where you need to be heavy to... Oh, right. But can you do that? But what I'm saying... Okay, you need to be heavy to wait on the switch. But I'm saying you need to do Mumbo first, right? In that case? Or are you saying you have to hit the switch first and then you have to be Mumbo? 
Because I, I do know this switch. I saw the switch. You gotta be mum before. Okay, so then I was fine. So then don't. <laughs> I don't care if I have to do something with Humbo later. I want to know if I if I do hunt Mumbo now. Do I need to redo oh. Mumbo? Oh. But do the switch thing with Mumbo second. I'm confused. Can I do all the Mumbo stuff now, or should I wait until I do the Humba stuff first? That's what I want to know. I'm, if I do Mumbo, is this the only time I have to be Mumbo? Like, is the switch thing has to be Mumbo second? If that's the case, then I won't do Mumbo now. Because I want to do it all in one go. Or as much as one go as possible. Either way, we're going to the roof first while we're... Like, like, the question is, do I have to hit the switch and then be Mumbo? Or do I have to be Mumbo and then hit the switch? And if it's the former, then I don't want to be Mumbo yet. If it's the latter, then... Then, uh... Uh, then I obviously want to wait. Or no, then I can... I don't know. One of them I can do Mumbo, one I can Either way, let's do the roof. Be Mumbo first and then hit the switch. So I am good to do Mumbo. Okay, so in that case, th there's no reason to tell me anything with that because I knew about the switch. I just wanted to know if I needed... The only time to warn me is if I'm doing something I have to, like, re-become Mumbo later. Because that ends up getting annoying having to redo stuff like that. Okay, where am I... There's a bunny. Oh. There's all the gingos. Well, no, no, but the the thing is, Mr. B, you're saying I need to be... I need to be Mumbo first. Summer, there's no hey chat. <laughs> if I need to be Mumbo first and then hit the switch, right, and I was going to be Mumbo, then there was no reason to warn me because I was doing it right. I wasn't going to do Humba yet. If I did Humba and then was Mumbo, that would have been the wrong order. Yes, yes, I would have. But I was doing it the right way, and then you were warning me to not do the thing I was doing. Or that's how it came across. Like, if I'm doing it right, there's no... Just say, yeah, you're good. <laughs> if, I was, if I was going to Humba, then, then, then that would be the time to warn me. Where am I doing this I know I need... Do I need to do anything else in here, or was it just the Jinjo? Like, I'm trying to think of the... I need to open up yeah, something for in this area or not. Does it look like it? I'm thinking that's all I need to do here just for now. But I'm not sure where the... I'm not sure where the... Uh, I'm not sure where the uh, washing machine comes in from. This one should be the place with the... Uh, I don't know, with something. There's a jiggy. And there's this. Okay, right, that leads to floor four. Are 
there's so many sad rabbits in this game. <laughs> That gets me, okay, shortcut up here, I guess. I'm not sure why I need exactly, but I'm not against it. I guess because I want to be, do I want to be Kazooie? I might want to be Kazooie to get up to that. I think I need to glide here, don't I? Why is there so many fucking gliding things? I need to glide to get that jiggy, don't I? Because I don't think I can get it otherwise. Because I don't know how else you would get it. Yeah, I gotta come back for- I need to glide. So there's at least two jiggies you need to come back for for gliding. Is there any other jiggies you need to come back for? Like one warp point I haven't found yet. I'm not sure where it's at. Yes. Okay, so first things first, I want to go to work to level four. Still have one more battery to insert. Maybe I have all the war points, I don't know. I think there might be one more though. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hang on, hang on. I don't want to... Okay. I don't want to do this yet. See, this is something you could have warned me about, right? I don't want to do this yet. Uh, we're going to just pretend I didn't do that. Because we, we don't want to do that yet. We want to go with the other one first. With a well-placed leg leap or a clockwork egg. Oh, you know what? You're... Oh, you know what? You're right. I can do it with a clockwork egg. Okay, I will definitely go back and do that. No, you I, you definitely can do it with a clockwork egg. Okay, where is the other one I need? Where's the one... I need to find the one that takes me on the second floor that I need Mumbo for. I want to do that one first. I think it's in the Electromagnet room. Uh, how do I get up there with Mumbo? Through here, I guess? I guess through here. No, this leads me to... No. direction. Where am I going? Because I need to do something on the second floor with Mumbo, but I don't know... 
There wasn't a warp point plug pad in there that I just didn't get, was there? It's not through here, is it? Yeah, it's through. Okay, perfect. I still have to come back for one of the gliding ones, but I'd rather get one of them. I'd rather get one than none, if I can. Right, because if you if you don't get rid of the electrical magnet. Oh wait, you oh my god, you do need a switch regardless then. I hate this so much. <laughs> All right, we want to do the other. So you had to switch to Mumbo regardless in this level because it does the auto fixing. I totally forgot about that. You didn't tell me about that. You didn't say anything about the auto fixing. You said that you have to be Mumbo and then first and then switch, but you didn't say it was a time switch. You said, like when I was thinking switch, I was thinking you be Mumbo and then later you do it as Humba, because this is the only time you've ever had to be fast with Mumbo. I'm not mad, by the way, but it's like, that's not... <laughs> that's fair enough, you forgot about the auto-fixing. Okay, so we're gonna do 4-4 four, four first. Because I don't... As soon as I become the washing machine... I could do this mumbo first, but I don't want to become the washing machine until I'm ready to become the washing machine. I'm not quite ready for that yet. So, break this one. Oh, I... I'm gonna grab some water. <laughs> Not gonna, this is a mini be right back. four hours why is it almost eight I thought I started closer to three o'clock yeah that's the thing so there's you there's no easy way to do this you, you can't do everything as mumble you have to do something as mumble and then switch back so you've got to be mumbled twice, for, like, no matter what, then. Which is fine, that's what the game in entails, but... Okay. okay gotta quickly become Banjo... Become Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Crushers has now been switched off. Perfect. Okay. Where does this lead? I 
I need Kazooie for this. I think just Kazooie. Maybe not even. Where's this one go? Okay, this is where the okay, this is where the battery I need is for the cable room. Okay. I need to open the elevator though. Elevator is open. this one now <laughs> I don't like this but I guess I might as well just do it can I even do it yet yeah that was my question as well why is the sewer on the fourth floor <laughs> Now, do you need to get all of them in this one, or is there just so many you need to get? I think you need to get all of them, I'm pretty sure. I hear one. this way. See if
Am I too late at this point or can I still do it? I hear one more. I almost had it. Where is it? Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Damn it. <laughs> I heard the last one, it was nearby. I think actually the dynamite one is worse, but this one's not much better. I think it was this! Oh, it was that one! It had to have been. I think. It was that one. Fuck. Uh, I want to go right first. This is why the fire eggs are nice, though, because you get unlimited fire eggs with Dragon Kazooie. I heard one more in there. Damn it, you're wasting my time. there I can't remember I want to say there was maybe a staircase up there no, this doesn't lead me anywhere I need to go fuck I'm gonna die now Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. It's the exit. I lo I I had this one too. I lost track of where this one was. Because the one I missed the first time was the one at the beginning. Okay. Let's 
There's not another one in here, is there? No, because I would have heard it. When I came back last time. another one. Yeah, but I got those last time. I missed the one that was in that one side room. I, the one, okay, I know what one I missed last time. It was like that one that had the multiple entrances to. I think right here, maybe? Yeah, I missed this one. Three more. Is the last three. No, it's not in here, it's in the other room. One more. Again. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I need a first try emote. Third time is the charm. How do I leave? <laughs> this one is not nearly as maze like as the uh, glitter gulch, I feel. So that's it for first person shooters, I'm pretty sure. I think that's the last one. Well, okay. Not counting the boss. The final boss. But Hailfire doesn't have a section like that. And I don't think uh I don't think Cloud Cuckoo Land does. Did this go anywhere? Alright, so we got that jiggy out of the way at least. We still have quite a bit left to do. I mean, we do and we don't. Like... Okay, what is the next... I want to open... What do I want to do next, actually? Well, yeah, but I'm not counting those. Don't, I don't count those. Okay, I don't need to do that. There was one other section in here I didn't do, I'm pretty sure. Don't 
die. What was this one? I never checked what this one was. Uh, what do we got? You know what? Sure. Um, I need kazoo. No, I need banjo. Banjo, you're going on an adventure. Okay, I need the one on... It was on the second floor, right? So let's go... Get this last battery taken care of. Then, uh, so we'll get the last battery taken care of. We'll go back to the first floor and take care of the trash compactor. And then I think the washing machine? I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do before then. It's over here, I think. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. No. It's over here. battery I, mean, I guess I can you go with the batteries in the warp pads or do you have to take you probably have to take the elevator right out really quick here. Let me make sure I didn't lose it. If we put it... Yeah, we still have it. So you really don't need the elevator for anything then, really. Just a shortcut, I guess. in this box. Oh. Why? <laughs> so I guess the only thing that's in here is the stupid clinkers then. Well, and, the, uh, and this, but... Oh, that's, that's not what I'm going to that I was going? No, where was I going? I'm really lost. It was in here somewhere, right? It was over here. Okay, here we go. Okay. 